Let's go. All right, Shalom, Shalom. To the uh, brothers out here in uh, GMS in, uh, uh, Tucson, man, getting getting it in again. Uh, Lord willing to be edifying. And uh, just as always, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory uh, to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushan, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone and a sincere peace, love, blessing, salutations unto all of you hopeful members of the elect out there doing the best to make your calling of, uh, of your election sure, man. All right, here it is. We've been through all these struggles, right? We went through all this hell. We've seen all these revolutionaries, so-called revolutionaries get up to, to bring so-called freedom to our people, man, right? We went through this, this time over time over time over time and where have any of them got us, man? Nowhere, right? We are still in the same situation, man. All right, we are still under persecution of Esau Edom. We are still, right, uh, 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 laying down, building up their systems and lining their pockets with our debt as we were meant to be so much more, man. Right, uh, when you brothers wanna grab um, Acts uh, 5 and uh, uh, 30, 35? Can you got that, brother? I wanted to get this right here. Uh, since you said that, uh, all right, so group three, uh, group uh, uh, chapter three, verse eight. All right, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, going over what the brother was saying, but we're still captives, man. You know, we're still slaves to this demonic ass system, man. You know what I'm saying? But don't get it twisted, though. This place is going down. All right, America is already down that drain of that of that nasty toilet bowl that hasn't been cleaned in fucking months, man. You see what I'm saying? Brown shit all around it. You know, all that grime and grim and shit under the rim of the toilet, man. All right, so America is, is, is right there in the fucking drain, man. You see what I'm saying? Being flushed the hell down. All right, these devils are speaking about, these devils are, 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 are uh, uh, you know, Biden, you know, and, and you know, I'm gonna just say his handlers because Biden is just a hand signature, all right? But there's, there, there's talks right now of sending more aid and money to fucking Ukraine, man. You know what I'm saying? When we have this border crisis that's going on right here in the States, man. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to read it again. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our power. Man. It's prophecy, man. Right. It's all prophecy. Yeah? And Jake speaks this every day, man. Right? Reparations, right? The things that we went right. through, the things we're going through. And this is all prophecy that this would happen, man. And why is it happening? So we can learn accountability, man. You see all these different, again, all these different revolutionaries getting up and promising to, to redeem our people, right? But there is only one way out of this predicament, man. Go, uh, go ahead, brother. You got the Acts? Yeah, I got the Acts chapter 5, verse 35. Nope. Yes, yeah, so the question is, where? how's the way out, man? Right, we've had all we have had the Black Panthers, right. we've had the damn right. Brown Berets. We, <laughs> there's been right. there's been every type of right. type of movement out there. Martin Luther King, we right. tried to went the peaceful way. Right, and what all happened to him? You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, uh, Marcus Garvey, the back to Africa. You know, you see, you niggas didn't do that. You didn't go back to Africa, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because if, if you even if you did, guess what? The curses still follow you because you are still yet this day in your captivity, man. Africa is overran, man. You see, what I'm saying by other countries, mainly China. Uh, uh, Acts chapter five verse thirty five, and and said unto these unto them, ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do, as touching these men. Right, what they were intended to do, they were intended to put hands upon the men of the Lord, man. Right, they were they were uh, uh, they were they were intended to harm them, man. And so what this what this wise man said, right? In fact, go back one verse, brother. It says, um, Acts chapter 5, verse 34. And then stood there up one in in the council, a Pharisee named get the 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 law the law, the law, the law a doctor of the law had in we, we, where are you reading from? What the scripture is that? Acts uh, 5 to 34. Read. 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 Among, oh, 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 report. Report among, the, among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space. Right. So so basically he had a good uh, uh, right reputation among Israel, man. 
He was a, a Pharisee, a doctor in the law, so he had, uh, uh, right, he was a wise man in their eyes. He got up and said, hey, watch, 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 take heed unto how you are concerning these men, right? Go ahead. Yeah. And, and said unto them, ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. For before these days rose up Thor, 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 and boast, boasting themselves to be somebody to whom a number of men about 400 joined themselves who who was slain and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to not right so that whole group right there was a whole group of men that he's bringing uh, bringing up to remembrance that what you had you had a leader get up and promise liberation to the people man Right, yeah. promise some type of help, bringing up all the problems, right? And what happened to him, man? He got put to death. And his whole following came to nothing, man. Just like we've seen time after time again today, man. Me and the brother were talking about uh, Judas and, and the Black Messiah on the way up here. And you had a similar situation there, man. He saw God in there, killed all of them, right? Killed, killed the main, the main uh, uh, dude. And he was, he was making moves. He, he made a ceasefire take place in Chicago. Right, the, so the gangs were coming together, right? And, 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 but guess what? This was a carnal thing, man. It wasn't according to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And how did how did the heavenly Father say that He would do this, man? First Corinthians uh, uh, one and uh, uh, twenty one. I got a scripture right here. Go ahead, you know, because uh, you know, obviously by now, all right, none of these so called leaders right we're able to redeem us out of the situation that the lord has put us in you know ultimately from from our from from us going off all right and not coming to the lord for the gladness of, of all things all right praising the heavenly father man you know but going off a whore into these other nations and these other idols all right so ultimately man we did this to ourselves man you see what i'm saying but uh, uh again you know we are still here all right a lot a lot of our people man hey you you've been rocked to sleep you see what I'm saying? You don't want to know in any goddamn thing, man. All right? Especially what we're doing out here, man. You don't want to come back to your power. And that and that's for your, your destruction right there. Because the Lord has to destroy you for that. So Deuteronomy 32, verse 39. See, now that I, even I, am he. And there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that, that could deliver out of my hands. So the Lord, he wound us, man. You see what I'm saying? But what you see in front of you right now... You know, with the apostles, great millstone, our elders, all the brothers that are teaching, this is the Lord healing us right here, man. You see what I'm saying? With, with, with the living waters. That's why we're out here. Our mind is right. You know, we're ready for America to be fucking destroyed. We're praying for this place to be destroyed. While the average person, you have no fucking idea what's going on. You have no idea that in a couple of uh, uh, days, well, actually, June 1st, America is supposed to default on, its, uh, uh, on all of its debts, man. So there's a lot of things that are happening, man. So again, going back to the scriptures, the Lord also said that there's none that could deliver out of his hands. And that's exactly how it's been. No one has delivered Jake from this situation that you were in, man. You see that? But yeah, I was shy, right? Which is, which is the, uh, the savior. And he's going to get us out of this situation, man. You got to look. It says uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21. For after that, in the wisdom of of power the world by wisdom knew not power it pleased the most high by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe right so please the heavenly father to, to do what man use the foolishness of preaching to be the the way that we get out of here man That's right. right not by uniting the gangs not by uh, right. uh, uh, bringing all of Israel together Right. right, because two thirds just ain't right, man. The heavenly Father used the foolishness of preaching because it's foolishness in the eyes of the world, man. That's why all these men in the flesh, these so-called revolutionaries, got honored. They still have these. You can go get these. They go pay for these men's books and stickers up in the stores today, man. And where are they? Brought to naught. Yeah. We're talking about uh, what's the name? Barabbas, right? Barabbas. That he he, he was a zealot, man. This man was in. This man was was in, was incarcerated for for putting Romans to death because he was fighting the whole tax uh, uh, collecting thing that was taking place back then, man. 
right? Hey, what, uh, like, like the scriptures say, man, the kingdom of heaven is within us, and the kingdom of heaven has suffered persecution, man. It's suffering persecution right now. We are being persecuted. And you see the condition of the world due to that, man. And like the brother said, it was all of our fault to begin with. So how is it that we get, get back? By repentance, man. And how is it that we're going to wake up to repentance? All of a sudden, you're just going to open up a book in Eureka. You just come to the truth? No, by the foolishness of preaching, man. We're going to hear this word be brought out. This is the foundation the Heavenly Father had chosen, man. If it was some militia of men with guns, then the glory would be given to them and their guns. Right. And I, and I got this right here, you know, going off of what I, what I said earlier. These damn flies are All right, Deuteronomy 28, uh, verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee, the Lord of the flies, right? Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in, and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee, man. So going back to Hosea 4, where our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. You see, you see what I'm saying? The Lord took that, that the physical yoke of chains off of us, right? All right? But Esau, okay, the damn devil, the so-called white man, all right, he made it, he went further with it, man, and, 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 and exercised mind control, man, all right, which is demonic and witchcraft. All right, so the Lord said that we will serve our enemies, and that's what we are right now, man. You're under the hand of your enemies. All right, going back to, uh, you know, uh, uh, the verse 68, it tells you just that, man, that we were sold into the hand of our enemies, man. You know? If I can add, brother. Yeah. The, um, just like when the, uh, the dude was in uh, Jan Master J, Israel loved that. Yeah. When they when they yeah. seen him, yeah, that they were yeah. man. He was basically like a Barabbas. They love hey, it. He man. looked like a damn agent any damn way. Man. Right. See, we, we have the eyes of the Lord has given us the spirit, man, to discern and see different things. But when I saw that dude, man, that, that's a fucking agent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I almost wanted to, like, how, how much are they paying you, dude? How, how much do you do to pay? Man, that dude almost got hit by the fucking yeah, but Israel loved that stuff because yeah. Jam Master J, even my sister, because she ain't in the truth. She was like, yeah, oh, oh. And they, everybody was like, yeah. He was a yeah. hype man. He hyped, yeah. hyped, he hyped everything. And I, I'm up. like, look, don't listen to that dude. That, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, because I'm, you know, of course, you know, I'm, I'm into the truth. So I was telling him, look, that dude ain't, he ain't the business. So, you know, she kind of kicked off from, like, but I seen a lot of Jakes ready to, oh, I guess we're going to have a war. Yep. Let's go. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Jake, ready to go and shit, man. You know, hey, check this out. Uh, Matthew 7 and 15, beware of false prophets, which shall come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are waiting wolves, man. So he didn't necessarily have to be down with the whole uh, uh, Israelite thing. You know what I'm saying? That, that's our nationality, all right? You know, but he was more of rebellion against the system, man. That's, that's what he wanted to do, right? He wanted to, to take up weapons of, of, uh, of, you know, he wanted to take up arms and shit, man. And it was you funny because then all of a sudden, right out of nowhere, he started talking about Yahweh Shai. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did he started, do that. All of a sudden, he started it was a little bit making an Israelite yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's the brother's like, all right, he's an agent for damn sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he was mixing Kemet with, with Yahweh Shai or, yeah. or Yah. No, he, he was just saying Yahweh or whatever. Yeah, so he wouldn't even send the name of the Lord the right way. Little, little dude, you know, check this out. Please ask us 9 and 18. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. But one sinner destroyed of much good, man. He destroyed a lot of people's minds, man. You know what I'm saying? With all that, with all that false hype, all right, that he was, that he was uh, bringing up, conjuring up and shit, man. Just conjuring up demons and shit, man. I, I remember they, they, they went as far as what, trying to put him in jail or some shit like that. And, and again, it's all control, you know, control opposition. That's what these devils do, man. You know, they, they raise up these, these false so-called leaders, right? And they get Jake hyped up so they can fucking destroy you, man. Again, Ecclesiastes 9, verse 15. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. He wasn't teaching any wisdom. All right, well, what wisdom was he teaching, man? You know, he was he was literally telling you to get to get, to, to get your weapons and shit and go after these people, man. You see what I'm saying? Not knowing that this, the scriptures is, is this this is better than weapons of war right here, man. You see what I'm saying? This destroy this destroys all the fucking evil that Esau has conjured up, man, for fucking years, man. Since this damn demon has been ruling this earth, man, hey, that, this is breaking all that shit down. And that that weapon is Esau's blessing, man. That's why you had. I remember one of them shot themselves, man. Oh, <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. 
Oh, man, that's not surprising. Trying to harness Esau's weapon. Right. You, 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 look, you look no better than the than the than the Edomite pastor trying to harness ours, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Go, go ahead. Uh, grab that uh, uh, axe. John three sixteen. Yeah, that's you yeah, with the gun. Now, now you want to do all like that. Like Bayon says, that's you with the gun over here. <laughs> Crazy man. You know what I'm saying? But again, you know, the Lord has to give you that spirit, that spirit of uh, of discernment, man. You know, to, to be able to discern things, man. The Lord said that we will, you know, you know, it's impossible to deceive us, man. You know, like like the scripture says, if it was possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And we weren't we weren't deceived off that. We're very aware. All right, of, of these upstarts like him, man, which the Heavenly Father, man, you know, exposed him quickly because obviously where is he at right now? I mean, there's still talks about him. I guess Esau, you know, gave him, Esau picked him up and dusted him off and gave him a couple of bucks, you know what I'm saying, to, you know, to get back in there, you know? A little rally money. Huh? Yeah, yeah, he gave, you know what I'm saying, put a, put a couple of zeros in his bank account. Yeah. Just a couple crumbs, my bad, a couple crumbs yeah. in his bank and account. Even though, the damn, even though the whole pile belongs to you, he gave you a, yeah. a, a crumb. So crumb. Hey, here it is, man. America is, is damn near bankrupt. Man. All the money, all your tax money, it's all going overseas. Where are the riots in the streets, man? There's some people, there's, people should be downtown right now. All right, it's Saturday, right? You know, I know people got to work, you know, during the week and shit, but people should be downtown right now riding over over what's going on in the, in the White House and shit, man. Well, what the fuck are people doing, man? Driving by looking at us crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, and we, we stand up for what we believe in. What the fuck are you people doing? You got it. Then they said on Redacted, some lady who was on Redacted, she came out and said, uh, Ukraine is the most uh, corrupt uh, country in, in Europe. Yeah. But we're sending our money to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah and man. she said, but it's okay because they're using a, a, a digital, um, they're using a digital app. So it's okay that we're sending our money to them because it's, it's getting all uh, being uh, basically uh, data through the data. So now we know where the money. They're tracking everything. So now we know where the money's at. So I guess everything is okay, which is going into what the MOTB really. You know what I mean? Hey, this is what these devils do in the White House. It's like money laundering, man. That's that's what that's that's what the fuck they're doing. That's that's where the tax money is going, man. All the old military gear, all that shit, man. And every time this dude, I think his name is Zelensky or something. You know, every time you hear this motherfucker speak from Ukraine, right? He's behind some type of green screen and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. This motherfucker been inside his doomsday bunker and oh, shit. Good. His old, you know, five thousand square foot doomsday bunker. This motherfucker is somewhere behind a green screen. Right? Apostle uh, Gabar brought that out about the <laughs> whack the dog. The whack the dog. You seen whack yeah. the dog? Oh yeah, that's yeah. a bad. Yeah, that's a yeah. bad one right there. That's basically this yep. dude. Yep. This is it's Acts chapter five, verse thirty-six. For before these days rose up. Uh, Thirst us, boasting himself, boasting himself, be, be some, but being somebody, to whom a number of men, about four hundred, joined themselves, who were slain, and all as many as obeyed him. Right. Hey, in other words, the blind, the blind, the blind, they both shall fall into a ditch, man. The blind nice. heard his words, nice. got deceived by it. Yep. And, 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 and hey, just like the followers of Korah, man. And guess what? Look what happened to him. The earth swallowed him up. Him and his mm -hmm. whole family, man. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Huh? Were scattered and brought to none. As uh, uh, after these men rose up, Judas of Galilee, in those days of the of the of, of the taxing. And exactly, man, of the taxing. So why were these men getting up and rebelling? They were just rebellious. They just wanted to complain about something. No, man, they, they, they were under the persecution of the of the, the Grecian government, man. Right? If you read if you read these scriptures, you understand, right, that that as soon as Israel get under the foot of a heathen nation, man, right, the 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 the, 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 the heavenly father delivers them, man. After after an amount of time, what do you think the whole book of Judges is about, man? A judge being risen up and then deliverance being brought, and now, right? You had these Edomites persecuting us, man. Different men getting up saying they were going to deliver us, and all of them being brought to nothing, man. Just like today, you've seen us do the same thing over and over and over again, man. And still in the same predicament, still in the same situation as prior to 70 A.D., man. Still in the same situation as the book of Acts. 
and drew away much people after him, he also also so yep, all perished. Yep, simple Israelites, man. Oh, tax. Yeah, that's right, man. Taxes. You better stop taxing me. Yeah. Because the yeah. Greek, the Greeks were the Edomites were tax free, man. Yeah. But the Israelites were being they were they they, they were being being squeezed, right? Well, so they felt, yeah. yeah, so they heard this and they, and, 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 and they felt some type of way about it, man. But guess what? <laughs> yeah, he also perished. He also perished, man. Nothing. And all, even as many as obeyed him, were dis dispersed. dispersed. Yeah, dispersed. They got scattered. So like, the, Lord, the Lord is cold, man. No, I, I got this to go with that. You know, Job 12, verse 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. Right, so, so the Lord deceived, deceived them, man. You know, just like kind of like what just like what the Lord is doing right now, man. A lot of a lot of our people, man, that you're still being deceived. You know, and he's Esau, he's you know, he's bringing all this, you know, all all these uh, uh these doctrines of, uh, of devils up, man. You know, and Jake is just falling right along with it, man. You know, not knowing that the truth is right here on the street, somewhere that you would never look. By the way, you 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 would never look to us. Right, as as being any type of beacon of light to get you out of the situation that you were in, man. Because Jake, you just you just want to you just want to follow you just want to follow the wickedness, man. You know, all, you know, and, and not only that, man. Hey, the Lord didn't lead you here. You know, remember, man's goings are of the Lord, man. So the Lord got you in those bugged out doctrines, man, and that that's where you need to be at. You see, mm -hmm. everybody's got to fulfill a role, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, you want to read that last verse on that? It's okay. Yeah, there's only one. There's only one way that we're gonna be brought out, and there's only one uh, uh, deliverer, man. Right? And he ain't gonna come by the fashion of this world. Why? Uh, go, go ahead. It says and and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if these, if this council. Or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Right? If this council be of men, it's gonna to come to nothing, man. So just just leave them be. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna receive their constellations, right? And that, and that goes the same for all these false groups out here, man. To hell with them. What do the scriptures say, man? Uh, uh, the Book of Revelation. In fact, let me grab this real quick. It's uh, Revelation twenty-two and uh, and uh, eleven. It says, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work shall be. Well, hey, so we got, he's going to settle the, the record straight, man. We don't need to sit there and stress, waste all, all our time and energy, right? Of course, it's vexing seeing these, seeing some, some Israelite royal rumble go down in the middle of the yeah. streets, man. But, yeah. but hey, the Heavenly Father is right. going to deal with them, man. That's right, man. Because it's the Lord exposing them at the end of the day, man. Yep. You know, what, what did you think what was what was going to happen, man? You see what I'm saying? And, you know, and, that, and that's why the apostles, you know, the elders and apostles are like, putting out videos going, hey, don't get wrapped up into that stuff. All right? Because that's the Lord working, man. You don't want to get, you don't, you don't want to be distracted from that. There's too many things that are going on around the world, man. You see what I'm saying? I got this also, Isaiah 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers, man. Hey, that's that's a beautiful scripture, man. You see, so we have seen our, our teachers, all right. We've, we've learned, all right, from, from our apostles of great millstone, all right, and and, and and we're and we're out here doing the same thing, and we're giving back, and we're teaching, man. You see, what I'm saying, and like the, the scripture that the brother read, hey, the Lord is going to judge us based off of our works, man. You know, we're, we're not, we're, there's there's no more malicious coming out of our mouth, man. You know, going back to Proverbs 8 chapter, you know, we're speaking of excellent things, man. All right, that's that's the system going down. Esau going into slavery, Jake ruling again, man. You see what I'm saying? Everybody bowing down, every knee dropping down to your house shot. How about that, man? You know, that's that's what we want to see, man. You know, why the average person, man, you know, you you, you want to see Esau, you know, uh, hand out reparations and shit, man. You know, now, now, now they're saying, uh, it's funny because they're saying, we don't know where this money is going to come from. One, 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 no shit. I, I don't even think Jake, you know, say understands where the hell the money is going to come from, man. 
See how destroyed our people are, man? That, that Esau, he could just go print out some fucking money and go give it to you. Yeah, say here, nigga, here's the duration. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do do do, do you, what you want to do. Let me rob and murder your, uh, your, your ancestors. Right, wait, but here's some, <laughs> but here's some money for you. You know, has no yeah. value. What, 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 you have no map, no right, what does the scripture say though, man? You know what I'm saying? A fool with his money is soon to depart, man. So, so what the hell is Jake going to do? You're just going to destroy yourself with it, man. And ultimately what you're going to do, all right, you're going to bow down to that CBDC, man. Ultimately the chip, all right? Because if, if, if Esau did do this, which I really don't see it happening, all right? But if he did do it, you damn believe it's a part of his agenda, all right? He would make it where, okay, well, I'm going to release these funds to you, but hey, you got to bow down and you got to get that chip. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta bend your knee to the system, all right, in order for you to get this this the, this money, man. And Jake, the, Jake is gonna sell the fuck out. Yeah, you get the you know? uh, value you need to get the reparations package, yeah. man. Yeah, the reparations <laughs> package. What kind, what kind of shit is that, man? But here we are speaking of excellent things. We're speaking about the kingdom. You know, we're, we're speaking about all these things. We're, speak, we're speaking about America being destroyed, man. Something that the average person, you, you, don't, you don't want that to play in your mind, man. As soon as you hear that, you know, you, you, you plug your ears and shit and start saying la, 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 la. You know, that, that's pretty much the average Negro in America, man. You don't, you, don't, you don't want to be revenged. You don't want the Lord to revenge you upon the great whore. Hell, you don't even know what the great whore is, man. Hey, they didn't want, uh, they didn't want uh, Egypt to go either, man. Yeah, they're complaining about Egypt. You know, going back to Egypt, I always say. Oh yeah, going back to you know? Korah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How, how about that? I got a, I got a precept, brother. This is uh, Hebrews chapter three, and uh, verse seven. Or I'll go to verse six. It says, "But Amashayat, as a son over his own house, whose house we are. Right? We're that. We're that house, man. We're the temple. We are the church, man." It says, "If we hold fast with confidence." And the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Wherefore, as the Holy Spirit saith today, if we will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me and proved me and saw my works 40 years, wherefore I was grieved with that generation and said, they do always err in their hearts and they, and they have not known my ways, and I swear in my wrath that they shall not enter into my rest. Right. So taking into heed our uh, our, our our forefathers, man. Right. Who uh, uh, were supposed to be led out of the hand of the Egyptians, but instead they were uh, 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 faithless, man. Right. Just like today, we're supposed to be led out of the hand of this goddamn cracker. Right. The so-called white man, Esau, Edom, and we have uh, 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 the two-thirds who would rather remain. In captivity, man, yeah. because they because they've been given what's known as bread and circuses. Oh yeah, right, and, and that's all they know, and that's all they want to know. You see, what I'm saying your mind is so fucking destroyed, man. You know, all all you want is smooth things. Well, guess what? That's not what we do up here. When we come out here, man, we bring out reality up here, man. Stuff that you got that you got to think about, man. You see, what I'm saying because what's coming to this place, man, is it's not gonna be. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not going to be a walk in the fucking park for you people, man. It's going to be reality, man. It's going to be a, it's going to be ten times worse than these movies that you see. You see what I'm saying? Because you're actually going to be dealing with it, man. Like like we said last week, right? The Lord is going to package up your own personal hell, man. And you're going to go through it. You're going to drink all of it, man. I got this Ecclesiastes four, verse twenty eight. All right, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee, man. You know and and you know. You know, is our people, are, are they doing that? What the hell are you fighting for, man? You fighting for reparations and wanting to be equal with these damn devils, despite all the shit that you have seen Esau do and continue to do. So you're not striving unto the truth? Going back to Psalms 94 and 16, you're, neither are you standing up for the truth, man. So how how is it that the Lord is going to fight for you when you're sitting at home being a fucking couch potato, man? You're a goddamn couch potato. You're not standing up for a damn thing. And you expect for the Lord to fight for you when that time comes? Going back to Proverbs uh, 1 and uh, 22, the Lord said that I called and you did not answer. Well, guess what? This is the Lord calling out right now. And he's only calling out to these so-called Negroes, I tell the Americans who are the children of Israel. To go a little deeper, the, the 144, man, that's where it starts to get spooky and scary, man. Because the Lord is separating. He's not dealing with everybody, man. A lot of people can't handle that. That's why we mock IUIC, man, because, you know, they're literally going the door to door and shit like Jehovah's Witnesses, man. These niggas is handing out pamphlets and shit, man. 
pur pur purple, uh, purple templates, man. You know what I'm saying? When John 316 probably blasted on that shit. Come join, come join our church. What the fuck are you creating here, man? Like, like, what is it that you create? I mean, we we understand, we know what it is, man. You you're trying to create a mega church, man. <laughs> hey, I like I like to picture it like a funnel, man. You got a big funnel out here, right? All these Israelite groups, but the elect are gonna find their way down that narrow path, man, to get to get to the end goal. That's right, man. You know the Lord from the beginning. First Corinthians chapter three and uh, let's see verse verse uh, twelve. Look at verse eleven. It says, "For other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, which is Yahweh Shai Mashiach." Right. So this temple is being built that we were talking about, right? This house yeah. and the foundation has been laid which is Yahweh Shai. So if anybody's coming forth with any right. foundation, then they're they're not in the, they're not they're not building this temple. I don't know what kind of temple they're right. building, but it's right. not the temple of the most high, man. It says, uh, now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made known, for the day shall declare it. And what day is that, man? It shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try every man's work what sort it is. So that fire is going to come in the form of Jacob's trouble. Yeah. And it's basically going to separate the boys from the men. Yeah. You see, you're going to see the, the the those who don't have it, they're going to bow the knee to this world and take that karagma, man. Yeah. And, and the elect are going to stand firm. And that's going to be a, a, a symbolic for you to know who, who has the truth, man. The day is going to declare who that is, but nonetheless... You got all these different groups out there. You got to take heed on who it is you're listening to and what it is you're building, man. Because once that fire comes, you don't want to be smoked out with it. That's right, man. Because, you know, like like the apostles always say, the Torah always say, you know, when, when they actually do implement this, man, you know, you're going to be trying to, you know, uh, backtrack. You're, you're going to go in the videos and try to, you know, learn all you can down about, about the RFID, the radio frequency identification, man. You see, now, now, now you're going to be questioning your, your so-called leaders that have led you astray. You see, you see that, man? So, you know, uh, uh, again, man, you know, we're firm on on, on, on what the scriptures is, is describing, man, all right? That this 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 device is going to be implanted in you, all right? That's what the scriptures speak about, man, you know? So do you want to play with that? You know, grab it, you know, get it, and then you think that, you know, at the last minute, you can just pluck it out, man, like, you know, like, like you pluck out some plaque out of your teeth and shit, you know, you take the toothpick and you get you know what I'm saying? You're just going to be able to pluck it out. No, man. Hey, Revelation 14 told you what's going to happen to you. You know, if, if you bow the knee to this demonic ass system. They saw, I saw a commercial uh, today, actually. And this woman walked up to her car and uh, her phone, the car sensed her phone and unlocked the doors, man. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's, the, that, that's the same way that they're going to allow that to be done in your chip. And I remember seeing a video on it way, way back in the day, man. And it's funny because now we're actually seeing commercials. Oh, oh yeah. That, that's always been in our face because Esau deals with productive, uh, what is it called? Predictive programming. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's always, it's always been there, man. You know, you know, it's, it's new world order has always been in your face, man. You know, you know when you watch movies, right, Art? And it's the old movies and the movies, the, the newer movies now, right, where they have that big uh, universal letters and both letters that go around the world, Ooh, universal. Man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Esau's making sure it wraps around the whole world that universal, man. You know, unit meaning one, right? That new world order, man. Then you got that lady, right? She's standing on like that, that podium and she has the light, you know what I'm saying? Representing um, the, the, the elites and shit, man. So Esau, he's been, you know, putting these these uh, images in your mind, man, because this man deals with mind control, man. You know, and, and, that, and, that, and that's where it gets spooky and strange to Jake, right? Oh, they talking about, you know, it, it's automatically a conspiracy, right? When you mention things like this, man. But then again, what the hell does Jake know? You know, not not a goddamn thing. Now, let me grab this too. If you got precepts, you can bring it up. First John 2 and 13, right? I write unto you fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. This, this is a bad scripture right here. I write unto you young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. <laughs> you see that? So going back to... Uh, uh, Revelation 3, right? 3 and 9, 3 and 10, all right? About uh, the hour of temptation. You see that? We're, we're going to have to get through that, man. You know, and, and, if, and if the Lord is working with, with us, which he is, man. Going back to Colossians 3 and 12, right? Put on as the elect. That's what we are doing out here, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Hey, Lord willing, we overcome the wicked one. All right? I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. I, I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong. And the word of the Most High abideth in you. And ye have overcome the wicked one, man. And that's bad, man, because... You know, us being out here in this truth, right? This is a form of overcoming the wicked one, man. Because, hey, before the truth, man, hey, we was out there, though, know, going to the course of this world, like it speaks by the Ephesians, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we were doing all the, 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 the generous shit Jake, Jake was fucking doing, man. You know, then Isaiah 60 came into play, man. The Lord said, arise and shine, for your light has come. And, and here we are, man, sh uh, 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 broadcasting that light. You know, that, that, br that brilliant light. Like the average person, when you look at it, man, you, you squint and scoff. Maybe you'll peel out and shit. Man, we've seen all kind of things out here, man. It's just demons that are on you people, man. You know? Yeah, now, uh, Isaiah chapter 30, uh, Isaiah 43 and 2. When thus passes through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not over, overflow thee. When thus walketh through the fire, thus shall not be burned, neither shall the flames kindle upon thee. Hey, okay, so that same power that both kills and makes alive, man, that's the power that can be in your quarter, right? So long as you as you are obedient unto it, man. You hear that? You can walk through fire and the flames not touch you. What happened to Radshak, Meshach, okay, and Abednego, man? <laughs> A hey, perfect example, yeah. man. Yeah, these are hey, the waters and not and it shall shall not drown you. Well, uh, what happened with you? How was shy and uh, what was that, Peter? Hey, yeah. so 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 you 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 can't be moved, man. In fact, the Book of Romans, the eighth chapter. In fact, uh, let me go ahead and grab that real quick. Yeah, Con, these are these are examples for us, man. Why? You know, there's a reason why the Lord allowed these events, right, in the ancient times to take place. Like the scripture says, what was written before time was written for our learning, right? Okay, so 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 again, man, we look at those different events, right? Those different situations that that these men were placed in, right? And we and and, and that gives us all right more faith. You see that that's what that does for us, man. You know because they literally were thrown inside the fire, man. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were thrown in that fire, man, because they didn't bow down to that system. Because Nebuchadnezzar, man, you know, when, you know what, we're, we're going to get that. Because he he had all of his realm, right? All of his realm. They had the all the, the chiefs, you know what I'm saying? All, all of them, man. The, the captains, the, gov the governors, all right? Of course, the subjects, all right? They all had to bow down to that image, man. Because, <laughs> and then they, they burnt it seven times. They said they make it seven times hotter than normal. Yeah. Seven being completion. Completion, yeah. Right? And then where, where we're headed to now, Esau's right. going to turn it up even more. Because we're going to be in time... Like none other. Oh yeah. So like that that him raising it up seven times more than than ever. Right. Right. What is the Lord finna do? He's finna raise this more than more than ever. It's gonna be hotter than ever. Oh yeah. It's gonna be you know. Time has never been before. Yeah. The time has never been. This is uh the songs of the three holy children uh, in the in the apocrypha. Uh, I'm gonna go to uh, chapter one verse uh, five. It says, "For we have sinned and committed inequity, departing from thee." In all things we have trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments. Nor and see that's the thing, man. The the men of the Lord have a different spirit in them, right? Than than the rebellious two third. Even though yeah. they're going through all this hell, they're about to be thrown into a flaming fire. Yeah. yeah. They're still instead of sitting there right puffing up their chest. Why yeah. is this happening to me? No, they, right. they, they, right. hey, we sinned against you, right? We're bearing our indignation, man. Right. This is what we got. We've learned accountability because you put this goddamn yeah. Amite over us, yeah. knowing that known as Nebuchadnezzar, man. You see, and now we're go, we're, we're still learning the accountability because we, we we got Esau over us today, man. Yeah. Still still putting hell on you, man. And, and we're gonna get it after you finish that precept, man. We're we're gonna go to uh, Daniel three, man, and get, and get into that because you know, like the scripture says, there's no new thing under the sun. You know, that's exactly what this devil is trying to do. Again, going back to Nimrod, right? You know, and, and the very word Nimrod means, I think, like rebel. See what I'm saying? So these devils are, are doing the same thing again. Uh, verse 22, it says, And the king's servants that put them in ceased not to make the oven hot with rosin, pitch, tow, and small wood, so that the flame streamed forth above the furnace forty and nine cubits. 
40 and 9 cubits, that's about a foot and a half each. So that's about a, a, a eight, that's about 150 feet high, man. 150 foot flame. It said, <laughs> that's, yeah, that, that's crazy. That's man. something else, man. It says, uh, and the wind and the uh, so like, and made the mitts of like verse 20, uh, 24 it says, and it passed through and burnt those Chaldeans and found about the furnace. But the angel of the Lord came down into the oven together with Azarias and his fellows. And the reason why it says that is because, uh, right, this is the, the this is this is written in the Greek, it says, uh, together. As rise and his fellows and smote the flame of the fire out of the oven and made the midst of the furnace as it had the moist whistling wind so that the fire touched them not at all neither hurt them nor troubled them mm -hmm. how about that man you know so so again you know these stories are written for a reason written for our learning man you know that's why the scriptures is also the comforter because when you read these different events right uh, again that that these men went through okay it's, it's supposed to comfort your spirit man that the heavenly father all right, always deliver, you know, because they didn't bow down, man, to the system, man. All right, just like how we're not bowing down to the system, man. We, we, we're out here, man. You know what I'm saying? We'll go exile, man. Hell, I'll go fucking off grid, man. I, hey, I'm ready for it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I, ha I have solar generators. The Lord bless me, I would say, with solar generators, RV, all that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? To do just that, man. If the Lord has me to go a different route, guess what? I'm going the other route, man. You know, you don't, you don't put your trust in material possession, man, but I'm just saying, if the Lord has it go that way, man, I'm, I'm gone. The Lord told us to be a pilgrim upon the earth. You see what I'm saying? That's what the Lord told us, man, to be to be a pilgrim, man. A pilgrim is, is moving constantly, all right? So let, let's go ahead and get into this, man. We'll, we'll break down as we go. So Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold. So this is Daniel 3, verse 1. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold, whose height was three square cubits and the breadth thereof six cubits, he set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to gather together the princes, the governors, and the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the province to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Man. So what does that sound like? Man? You see what I'm saying? Uh, again, going back to Revelation 13, you know, the, the 16, and he caused an almost small and great, man. Like the script says, there's, you know, you can get that. Oh, know? yeah. That's about a good, you want to grab Oh, you, you can grab that. I'm going to grab something else. Yeah, this is uh, Revelation uh, 13, and uh, I'm going to go back a couple of verses. This is uh, uh, verse uh, 15. It says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, right. that the image of the beast should both speak. So, and, my bad. So, so, so it should both speak, right? So, how is the image of the beast speaking, man? You know, through, through that, through that uh, mind control device. That pretty much all of us have in our front rooms, man. Or in your bedroom, wherever they help you put your TV. All right? That's how Esau speaks to you, man, on, on that fucking media, man. The, the media. The mainstream media, man. You know, that's how the beast is speaking unto you. You see? Go ahead up. And, and what is this image, man? Right? We had so we, we had this, this image, right, during the time of Nebuchadnezzar. Do you really believe... That they're gonna make a giant. What are they gonna make? A giant Donald Trump? I don't know. A giant Edomite, <laughs> right? And, it and the world's him, gonna right? the world's gonna go worship it or something, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> you see, come on, man. Yeah, it, 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 during the during this time, it was an actual image. Now it's the right. the image of Esau, man. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And it's digital. This this image is digital. Uh, well, which really this image is sin. That's what the whole image of this of this 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 devil is, is basically sin, man. Right, so the image and the mark are two different things, because uh, uh, that's what they say. That's what IUIC says, man. They say that the mark is a uh, 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 basically right sin. But they, if that's the case, what is the image then? Right, the mark is something being implanted in you, and the image is something that you're that you're worshiping, which is basically the image of Esau Edom, man. See now, now that's why uh, that's why we look up words, man. The Greek, the Hebrew, because it tells you it tells you, you know, what I'm saying that that it's not no fucking sin, man. You know, it's something that's going to be implanted in you. <clears throat> you see, that's why you got to look up words. I just finished in the verse real quick. It says, um, <clears throat> And cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And that's exactly what we're reading right here in Daniel, the third chapter, right? Whoever wasn't going to worship this image, they're going to be thrown into that furnace, man. That's right. Man. Hey, brother, can you look up the, the mark? Can you look that up? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and look that up, man. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll get some... Uh, more edification on that, you know. You know, we, we, we look up words, man, and that's how you, you know, that's how you, you would 
better understand the scriptures, but you can't just read it and, and not make it up. All right. So going back to Ecclesiastes one and nine, the thing that have the thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun, man. All right. And we're under the sun, right? And we're not new. You know, we've reincarnated back to this place many a times, man. You know, and again, to the average person, that sounds bugged out. All right, but we 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 understand this through the spirit, man. You know that this this is what it is. We have been here before. All right, going back to uh, uh, Jeremiah twenty-eight and eight. You know the prophets that have been before thee prophesied both against many countries, and we've done this before, man. You know that, that's that's why this is not strange to us when we're out here. You know, you people, you might look at it strange. What, what do they do? You know, it's a some type of hate group. <laughs> yeah, automatically, Muslim. right? It's a Muslim. It's like, and, and that's what that's what's inside of the average person's mind. Automatically, like the brother said, we're either Muslims, you know, a hate group, some type of uh, BLM, you know, which they're being persecuted right now as to being frauds. Which you know that that was that that's came out a long time ago, but you people chose to ignore it. These motherfuckers have bought mansions, you know, all types of shit, man. You know, six figure, six, seven figure salaries and shit. So we're damn sure not no BLM, man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that goes into the, what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. That BLM is a, 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 a carnal movement, man. Yeah. That ain't have nothing right. to do with Yahweh by Shabbat Shai. Exactly. They had nothing to well, do with Well, hey, if you got it your way, right, you got your little reparations right. through your BLM or whatever, hey, what's Jake Dixon go buy a Hennessy factory? <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be in the same situation, same man. Same situation, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, check this out. Since you said that, Acts 5, verse 39. But if it be of the Most High, you cannot overthrow it. All right, so this is of the Most High, man. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, that's what this is of, man. All right, therefore, Esau, he knows he can't overthrow it, man. He just tries to infiltrate. That's why right now, you know, through the Spirit, you know, brothers are putting up, uh, you know, different different uh, uh, information about there being agents out there. You see that, which we've heard before, you know, but, you know, we always refresh each other and remind each other through the Spirit, man. All right, so that so that's coming out right now amongst us that you know that, you know don't forget man there's agents among you, and that's just to keep us sharp, right? So and, we're not you know. And, and what did say that, that they won't be able to do anything against the truth, man? So yeah. you have that we're talking about Judas the Black Messiah earlier, right? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, the reason why they called him Judas is because he committed suicide, you know, afterwards, man. And that's what happened with, with Judas Iscariot. Mm. He committed suicide, man. Yeah. So you really think, right, if somebody's out here, the Heavenly Father, man, this thing ain't no joke, man. It's and I really, I truly Father. feel like Father. if somebody, if there was an agent, man, I truly feel like they would they would begin to see that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like if you, if you have so, a yeah. carnal group, somebody feel that bad? Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, I mean, which, 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 how was shy? There was prophecy that would take place that way. But hey, man, if there was, if there was, I, I would start to, <laughs> I would start to get shook, you know? I feel like, man, it's, these men actually, they what they talking about is real. You know, I mean, I, I you know, and they, they may they may be blinded, but you know, the head, that ain't nothing is impossible for the heavenly Father, man. Because that agent could, could could come out and, and, and call himself just that, man, mm -hmm. and try to convert and shit, man. Because you had that movie, the spook that sat by the door. You know what I'm saying? This, this dude, he, he he was he was one of those agents, so just like Black Messiah. You know what I'm saying? And then you know he's basically. You know, spilling the beans on, on this operation what he had to do to infiltrate you see that so again acts 5 verse 39 but if it be of the most high ye cannot overthrow it less happily all right ye be found even to fight against the most high right. hey, how, how, how about that man you know so you want you want to fight against the heavenly father man what they say, your, your arms is too short, right? <laughs> Hit the box for the most hey, high. And that's what they don't realize, man. That's why it says what that, that we don't got to worry about avenging ourselves like that, man. Because they coming up and they they talk they talking about the heavenly Father, man. We ain't out here on our own accord. We ain't out here because we just you know felt this way. Right, right. <laughs> we're out we're out here to push the right. agenda of Yahweh by Shnyahu Shai. So that's what they're attacking, man. Yeah. Like the good old saying, "Don't shoot the messenger," right? Right. But guess what, man? They don't realize this messenger has a has a powerful back. Backing them up. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, 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 exactly, man. We're not worried about a damn thing out here, man, because we understand this we, this truth, man. When, when you really understand, all right, the nature of the Heavenly Father, man, all right, that He controls all things. What did the Lord say, man? He said that, Yahweh Shai said that He has been given the keys to death and hell, man. And when you go to John 17, 1, right? What did the Lord say, man? He said that, as thou hast given Him power over all flesh, man, so our Lord has power over all flesh. Nothing can happen to you unless He sanctioned 
by the Lord, man. And that's 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 plain. We under, we understand that. You see what I'm saying? And we, and we hold true to that, man. So therefore, we, you know, we're, we're not tripping, man. There's an agent and the Lord will always make them make make them make themselves known, man. Just like this dude vocab, man. This dude's been exposed, man. He's just a spiritual punk, punching bag at, at this point. You know, that's, hey, that's pretty much what that dude is. Another vessel to leave the blind, man. Yeah, yeah, pr pretty much. Pretty much, man. Oh, brother, did you find Did you find yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Mark is a yeah. paragma. Right, right. Yeah, a stamp, an implanted mark. Yeah. Of a stamp, an implanted mark. Keep on. Of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as a badge of followers of the Antichrist. There you go. That's all. That's all. You know, and there's many, you know, anti many Antichrists. Many Antichrists. Antichrists. Yeah. Right, so it's but, a paragma, though, man. It's, it's, it's that uh, you know, to, 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 to put inside of you, man. The the monk the mark branded upon horses. Mm. Well, that's a physical mark, man. Mm. Branding. So basically, you being branded by Esau. Right. Hey, you yeah. know what that goes back to? Um, in the ancient days, right? You would uh, uh the, the all right. You, you would brand mm -hmm. your cattle. Yeah, you, you see that? You, you would you would brand them, man. And I think with Jake too, if I'm not mistaken, all right, if he wanted to serve his master, right, to keep keep serving him forever, man, he would. Pretty much get branded. Yeah, that's part of the law, man. Yeah. They would they would put that all in and, their and ear, here, right? Yep. Yeah, there you go. There you go, which man. Which is which is a, in other words, a piercing, right? An incision. There you go. An etching or incision into the skin of karagma, man. And when they had the runaway slaves, the ones that ran away, they would they would uh, they would brand them, so yeah. they would know. So when they run, right, they, they, they would they would yeah, like that. Right. Go, so 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 again, again, man. Here we are. All over again, no new thing under the sun. This devil is doing the exact same thing again. That's why this is a control. This is a control collapse, man. What's going on? It's not like all oh, this shit just got out of hand. It just, it just got out of their hand and shit. This is all control. This, this, this has been in the works, man, for for for, for years and years, man. This is not just something new, because there's TikTok now and people are starting to wake up to the evil. All right, this has been in in, in, in the plans of the of the, of the super rich elite, man. Because I, I heard, I heard they, the COVID night, the nineteen, they were supposed to be in twenty nineteen, but they were running, they were running late. So it came out in twenty, in twenty twenty. So they yeah. still, they still left the the nineteen on it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the that's the damn devil for you, right? Right. You see that? <laughs> when we go into the Karax? Um Yeah, go ahead, man. Then we'll, um, you get your precept, and we'll go back into uh, Nebuchadnezzar, man. Okay, Karax. A uh, sharp to a point. Sharp to a point. Needle. As in, says a, a, a palisade, a stake, palisade. You still get on that, brother? That don't sound like that don't sound like sin to me. That don't sound like an embargo. That don't sound like one of the other ones that white women. <laughs> right. 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 This is a, 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 a pale b between which the the earth and and stones, right? Going to like a picket. It's basically going to like the white picket fence. Yeah. You know that's what Esau the Palisades when they set it up when um, 70 AD they set up those fence so Jake yeah. couldn't run away. Okay. So even to this day, the the whole. Um, uh, Esau's thing is, is the white picket fence, and the white picket fence is basically a palisade. They got, they so got, he wants you to go into that, follow, follow that, uh, the so-called dream, the American dream. The dream, right, which is the white picket <laughs> fence. Yeah, yeah, you know what, yeah, you, you're right, brother, you're right, man. That's, exact, that's exactly what that is, man, because that is, the, you, when, when, you, when you think of the American dream, that's, that's, that's what's supposed to be uh, uh, inside your mind, that image, man, of the white picket fence and shit. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Hey, and, if, yeah, and if you're in a dream, you're sleeping, right, man. Right. It means it's not a reality. Yeah. You're people living in a bubble, right, man. Right, right, And then again, that's why we out here because you know we're not fucking we're not asleep, man. Hey, we're out here to pop the bubble, man. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, so check this out. Check this out. Isaiah 27, verse one. In that day, Yahweh, with his sword and great and strong sword, shall punish Leviathan, that piercing serpent, man. See that, man? So what is Esau, man? Esau's that serpent, man. Going back again, that piercing serpent. He's going to pierce you, all right, mm -hmm. and, and, and put that implant inside you, right? Mm -hmm. So, and, you know, so he represents the Leviathan right here, right? So shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, 
and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. Yeah, how about that? So going back to Isaiah 63, right? What did the Lord say, man? That he's coming from Edom with dark garments from Basra, man. Hey, so, he, so he, what was that one? A serpent was a physical, a serpent's a physical thing. So this was a, a, a right symbolic for the right for the for 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 for, for the, the 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 wicked right for the, the for the physical embodiment of, of Satan who was right who was Esau yeah. and who's Esau today, man. Right, right. Going back to the garden. Yeah, exactly, right. man. So so Esau is what? I mean, he's the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. That's who this man is, man. All right, all right. They're, they're the ones who's doing all these mercy murders of children and stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? The bowels of man's flesh, souls destitute of help. That's what these devils fucking do, man. You see? So again, going back to, I, I quoted it, I'm gonna just grab it. Isaiah 63, one. Who is this that coming from Edom? So yeah, the Lord is coming for you damn devils, man. With dyed garments from Basra. This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to slave, man. So the Lord is gonna come back traveling in the greatness of his strength, man, which are the, with, with those chariots, man. All right, when they're gonna appear in the sky suddenly, man. Yeah, so, so I got a question, man. When, when did this happen, brother? When did, yeah, when did yeah, yeah. How when come happen? Right. and destroy a nation right. Right. before the whole face of the world, man? Yup. Exactly, man. Uh, uh, Isaiah 63, I'm gonna just skip around a little bit. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. So, so the Lord hasn't came yet, right? This is his second coming, the year of his redeem. Who is he gonna redeem? Because when you look up redeem, that's to buy back, right? Let me uh, let me look this up, brother. You, you get uh, while you grab that, I'm gonna grab this quick one. It's uh, Revelation six things. and uh, and two. It says, and and I saw it. Behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him, uh, so like it, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. So John the Revelator saw the very same thing. That Isaiah was prophesying mm. about in the 63rd chapter, man. Mm. But who was it? Esau, Edom. Oh, okay. So clearly Esau yeah. hasn't been destroyed yet right. because they would be the ruling class in these last days. The physical embodiment of the spiritual demon Satan. Yeah. Just like the representation of that so-called serpent who wasn't actually a serpent, man. Right? That's just, that's just being used, that word, right, to describe the physical embodiment of... of of who it was, man. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense too. Like we just called Esau a serpent today. Yeah, with that with that forked tongue, because mm -hmm. a serpent speaks with a forked tongue, right? And you know, when you go back to Psalm fifty-two, it tells you just that, man. Old, old thou deceitful tongue. All right. Then when you go to verse five, all right, the Lord basically reads Esau. All right, the elites, because they're they're the ones who understand, because they understand what's going on, man. They understand, you know, that that us being out here is this representation of their downfall, man. This is the beginning of the kingdom of heaven, us being out here. So they understand their end, going back to Revelations 12 and 12, man. These devils know. You know, they so so they know about Psalm 52, verse 5, man, where it says the Lord shall likewise destroy you forever, man. They know that. This man is on death row. <laughs> All right, he, he he knows that shit, man. That's again, that's why we always bring out Revelations 12 and 12, man, because we're starting to see that more and more. And what's that uh, uh, book of Job say right right, right when he goes to fill his belly? Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. he's on death row, but he's yeah. going to get that last meal. He's going to almost yeah. taste the last meal, man. Yeah, and the Lord is going <laughs> to slap it right out of his mouth, man. We'll, we'll get that as well. You know? Yeah. So, so going back to, uh, let me grab this real quick, brother. Going back to um, Redeem, right? Just wanted to grab this real quick. Just a uh, big word. Okay, so redeem, act as kinsman, redeemer, avenge, revenge, ransom. You see that man, so the Lord is, 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 is avenging us on her, man. That's why it says rejoice ye heavens. You know, I mean, I mean, you know, let me, uh, I'll pull that up. That's going back to uh, 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 Revelations 12 and 12. But the Lord said that he revenged us on her, the, the great whore, man. All right, go ahead, but you can get your piece of, I want, I want to get that real Good. quick. Um, because you said something about the, us, us, us being able to, to have that vision, to, to yeah. know what, what's going on. So this is uh, Daniel chapter 7, verse 16. And I came nigh unto to one of them that stood by and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me and made me to, to made me know 
the interpretation of of these things. So basically, the, the, he spoke to the angel and told him, "Hey, break me down the truth." And that's what we're doing. We're out here breaking yeah. down the truth. We have the the actual real interpretation, not uh, coming up with our own things just so we can seem smart or whatever. Because that's what it seems like a lot of these other camps do. They're making up all sorts of things so just so they don't have wing to. Uh, they wing it. Yeah. yeah. Well, it goes back to that first Corinthians we were reading earlier that he chose the foolishness of preaching that he to choose the wisdom of this world right there's even an account where uh, I think we got that last week if I'm not mistaken maybe it was before that but there's even an account where the, the people tried to worship the apostles man mm -hmm. <laughs> they, these men were sent by the gods they, they were sent yeah. hey so so at the end of the day and the apostles were like man, even Paul said he's like man I'm glad I didn't baptize you guys Right. So you say so you so so you could say that you were bapt, uh, baptized baptized of Paul. Oh right, right. Because <laughs> these people, man, they're 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 carnal, right? They use yeah. the different carnalities and different different notions, yeah. things of the world, right? And the people in the world they get all hyped up about it, man. That's right. That's right. You see, man. but but whoever whoever receives this word, right, and, and is the elect, no matter what form or fashion it's brought, you see, they're they're going to receive it, man. That's why this thing is beyond us. Going even going into the right the the, the uh, agents or whatever. Yeah. We don't need. Yeah. It's not like we got to go in and, and and do a Hebrew Israelite audit. All right, brother, we're gonna go into your personal business. Yeah, and right, see, right, right. <laughs> see if that, you're that an agent. Be, that would be carnal. We did that. Yeah. That, that would be carnal, man. So so. You know? But 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 mark my words, man. If you are an agent, you will you the spirit will uh, 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 expose you, man, because okay. this thing is beyond mortal men. Right, like the brother read earlier. Hey, if it's, it's the heavenly father, you fighting against the heavenly father, man. Yeah, yeah. Happily. Yeah. Right, right. So who's going to win? Who's going to win? So check this out. Luke twelve verse two. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets shall be proclaimed upon. The house house man so it, it, it makes sense right because you know we're we're in the last days man all right which we we all know that right so in the last days the lord what is the lord doing man he, he's he's revealing more and more about what these devils are doing man so you best believe there's any agents among us man they're going to be found out the lord is going to create certain situations all right where you will be exposed and that's how the lord works man no one can get away from this man of what's done in the dark Whatever the hell you do in the dark, man, and any evil intent, you know, the heavenly father's gonna bring it to the light, man. That's just how the Lord set up its systems, man. Even even the heathen is bound by that, man. You know what I'm saying? You just gonna say the heathens, man. But what, what king was that that he kept trying to make plans to go against Israel? And then he uh he kept saying, Who's telling them who's telling them what's going on? Who's telling them uh my secrets? Because he kept trying to send people to go after Israel, but but uh Israel would know uh uh, exactly what he was going to do before he did it, but he didn't realize that the Heavenly Father, through the angels, always gave gave what a, a vision. Because without a vision, what the people perish. Yeah, people perish. Uh, yeah, that's right, and that's exactly what's about to happen that, where, where we're at now, man. And we need to find that king that, that you're talking about, off. So and that's exactly what's happening now, man. Because you know, pretty soon, you know, Amos eight and eleven, man, is it, going to take place, which is the famine of the word. All right, because you know, if these devils let off an EMP, hey, that, that's it, man. You, you people go back to, to fucking rubbing sticks together, man. <laughs> Gathering sticks and shit, man. That's what you're going to go back to. Hey, you know? uh, Albert Einstein said it, man. It's a, it's a quote. You can look it up. I don't know how World War uh, 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 Three will be fought, but World yeah. War Four will be fought with sticks and stones, man. <laughs> yeah. Meaning that he knows yeah. that World War Three is going to bring yeah. the desolation to you people, man. Right. <laughs> that, that's, that's right, man. So there's talks, right? Of this happening, man, and people just walk around, you know, just clueless, just head all in the fucking sky and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? You notice that when people do that, right? When they, when they walk by us and shit, right? You know, they're, they're just looking at the buildings and shit. You know, you're you're in awe over man's creation and shit, which is going to be destroyed in one hour, like the Lord said, man. All right, so that's what we are facing, you brothers. We are facing, all right, the famine of the word, which we knew we knew it was going to come. We we we're, we're not, we're not, we we just didn't know how exactly how how the Lord was gonna have Esau do it, man. The scriptures doesn't go into detail with that exactly how He's gonna do it. We just know what's gonna happen, all right. And we're and we're seeing the different steps of it happening, man. These devils, all right. Like I was speaking, I was talking to the brother before the camera turned on. 
you know, they, they have given uh, a, at least like 50 satellites, it's probably more to these senators. Ooh. All right, just in case a grid down emergency happens, man. You see that? So there's so many events that are going on, man. Just like, again, on June 1st, America is supposed to default on its on its debts and everything, man. So there's a lot of things that are going on, man. So if it actually happens, hey, that's it, man. Once they turn off these lights, man, that's 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 pretty much it. You know, for you people, man. You know, then you got then then they're gonna have you bow down to their system. You know, if you, if you want to eat, you know, if you want to move here, if you want to go there, then you, you basically got to put this in, in your hand, man. Like we were bringing out earlier, man. That's that's where we're headed right now, man. You know, that's measuring the times diligently in itself. You both got anything? Uh, Con, I got uh, Judith five and uh, sixteen. It okay. says, and uh, and they cast forth before them a Canaanite. And a Pharisite, and a Jebusite, and a Shechemite, and all, uh, and all, the Gergesites, and they dwelt in the country many days. And whilest they sinned not before their God, they prospered, because the God that hateth iniquity was with them. So basically talking about how what how we possessed right that land of uh, of milk and honey, right? Mm -hmm which was symbolic for the kingdom, right? Josh, that's why Joshua actually had the same name of Yahweh Shai, right? Meaning he saves because Joshua brought that deliverance to, to, to Israel. But the heavenly father gave us Yahweh Shai to bring the everlasting victory to Israel, man. So that was an example of, of what would be done today. And just like we had Moses, right? Just like we had the, the walk from point A to point B, we had that whole uh, generation that got left in the wilderness being likened under the yeah. two-thirds, yeah. right? We got to go from that point A to point B now. And you're going to have two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that refuse to get right, man. Yeah. That want to continue in this society. That want to continue being a damn Egyptian, man. And which is fucking ludicrous, huh? Because, again, if you're watching, which the average person is not, all out hell is about to be released here in, in America, man. Title 42 ending... Hell, you, you thought The Purge was just a fucking movie, right? So, you know, you go get your popcorn and you sit back with your woman and shit. You know what I'm saying? You just sitting there, your arm, you know, you got your arm around her. Yeah, look, look, baby, look at these crazy people. Not knowing that you and her are, are going to be a part of that shit pretty soon, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you know, we are coming up on Jacob's trouble, man. Have you forgot about that? Oh, my bad. The average person doesn't know about that. How, how about that? With all this information out, right? You know, you can't say that, that you didn't know, man, because... You ran, you you ran across it right, but you quickly swipe swipe up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, Esau don't have it when you swipe like this anymore. Why you just quickly swipe that shit up? You know, because you don't want it. You don't want to be informed. You see about what the hell is going on, man, in, in the world that you live in, man. You just want to be in fucking la la land and hope that Esau makes it right. That what's going on in office, man? That that, that hopefully it'll be right and shit. That's you trusting in men. And what the scripture say? Cursed be he that trusteth in men. That's why hey, the Heavenly Father really, really knew what he was doing when he created Esau, man. Because this devil knows he how to demon. he knows and he knows how to tickle your flesh, man. Yeah. You go on there, you go <laughs> you go on there, what are you what do you see? You're seeing some ass, you're yeah, seeing yeah. so you're seeing yeah, some, yeah, all yeah. kind all of kind different of things yeah. that are gonna, yeah. gonna keep you sidetracked, yeah. right? Because naturally you just have this flesh upon you, and Esau knows that, man. Yeah, yeah. When it's right? So he's man. giving you this black culture, this brown yeah. culture. What's the scripture say, man? Put on the whole armor oh, God, yeah. so that we could defend ourselves. Because everywhere you turn, Esau done set something up here, here, and here for you to fall, man. Those are the walls of the devil, too. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, you got to be a, you gotta be balanced, man. You know, you hey, pray for balance, man. Eat, eat, eat myself, man. And I pray for the same thing, man. And that's why, that's why it's sometimes necessary... Yeah. Right to feed the flesh in, in a small amount. Right, if you like to play video games, play yourself some video games, man. Right, but but oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like the brother said, balance, man. Yeah, you balance. Right, you put the most high first, right. But that doesn't mean right that that you gotta right deprive yourself from 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 everything because you'll because you'll end up falling that way, man. Yeah, right, like the scriptures say, not all things are law uh, all things are lawful, yet not expedient, man. Right, right. So you got to be honest with yourself. Know what you should stay away from, and know what you can meddle into a degree, man. If you like to play video, hey, you want to take your woman out to the movies, man? Take yeah, her out yeah. to the movies. You, you ain't going off, right? If you do oh, yeah. oh, you at the movie theater? Oh, oh you going off, brother? <laughs> You know, what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah. but but you yeah, see, like, we're we're we're, we're yeah. built different than Esau, man. Yeah. Jake needs a little bit of play, right? Yeah. Yeah. So so knowing knowing that we got this flesh upon us, we got to know how to how to maneuver, 
and part of that is right uh, uh, doing you know you want to you want to enjoy a little something you know watch a movie whatever the case may be right but you got to do it in righteousness and, and always put your house by shim your shy first man because as we we're just reading what while they sin not they prospered man who are prosperous the heavenly father was a man the queen of sheba about dropping to her feet because she yeah. saw she yeah. saw yeah. king solomon yeah. man. She, that was there was there's no more breath in her there's no more breath in her, man. Hey, so she look at that. fainted. That's how you Israelites hey, at the look, doorman. Yeah, you know, the, door, the doorman, the right, doorman was decked out. The... You know what I'm saying? She thought the doorman the was, was the outside. Lord. She just, she just <laughs> fainted at the doorman. And <laughs> hey, that's how beautiful we were, man. Hey, hey, the Lord, man. Hey, going back to Ezekiel 16, man. Hey, the Lord put crowns upon our head. Laces were bordered work with with silk, man. He put chains upon our neck and shit, man. Hey, we were beautiful, man. When you go to Ezekiel 16 and 1, right, the Lord, uh, uh, he, he basically uh, uh, talks about how we, we, were, we were fucked up at one point in time, man. So how much we more beautiful now is it going to yeah. be, man? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? oh, yeah. He, said, he said we can't even begin to imagine yeah. the things he has prepared. I like to talk oh, yeah. about it too. King, yeah. King David's uh, crown was, uh, uh, you know, in fact, I'll grab it, man, if you, if you really okay. want to grab your right. right. let me Let me get this real quick, uh, you know, because what the brother said. So Matthew 10, verse 16, Behold, I see you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Man. So that's what we are. We are in the midst of wolves. You know, this is to all the camps, man. You know what I'm saying? All the GMS camps, man. The brothers that speak the same doctrine as, as Great Millstone. Man, we are in the midst of fucking wolves, man. So this is the Lord told us to do, right? Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. Hey, we're, not, we're not out here fucking fighting nobody, man. Just like the apostle said, if somebody's in your spot, don't move across the street. Just, just get completely the fuck away from them, man. You see what I'm saying? Ha, ha, have, have some, uh, 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 you know, you know. Decorum. De there you go. Perfect. Have some decorum, man. You know what I'm saying? Be, 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 be circumspect, like the scripture says, man. You know, and also what I wanted to say too, you know, about you know, because we're in this flesh, like like, like we were speaking about, and hey, you pray for the Lord, pray to the Lord for balance, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you're you're always you're always gonna need it. You know, sometimes you get out of balance, just like your car, right? Like your car, I, I don't care how many times you balance those tires, they're always gonna need balancing. You see what I'm saying? Always. And how, and how do you know when your car needs balancing? When your shit starts to shake. You see what I'm saying? So the same thing with us, man. You know what I'm saying? So when you when you start to feel that you're shaking and shit, you know what I'm saying? Things are, you know, we're in this fucking flesh, man. We understand that these things are real. That's coming to this place, man. So when you start to feel like this, you know, yeah, you you pray for you pray for balance, man. I was gonna add to you that know? uh, the, the scriptures say that uh, today has enough evil for today. So why yeah. why, why go into a bunch of other stuff you don't really need to go into when you got enough evil for the day? So why didn't go fight? Right fighting somebody else, right. I got enough evil in my life just for the day. I had to go to work under the so-called white right, man, right. You go then, I, then you're driving through the neighborhood hoping this dude don't right. pull you over, right. then you got a regular Jake hoping you don't get into it with him at the store, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> And yeah, there's a there's a lot of things, yeah. man. You know, like like the brother said, man. Yes. And we we have to be. We, hey, we're in this matrix with everybody else too, man. We have to be out there, which we'd rather not be. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's why I always say, you know, when you go to these big box stores, go in the morning, man. It's, it's a peace and calm in the morning. And I'm gonna tell you this too, real quick. You know, when I when I do go to these big box stores, I'm, I'm talking about like Walmart, Target, and shit, right? I, I, I have I have sunshades on, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm looking like Captain America, I'm going to soldier and shit. I got my hat, I got my hat on and shit. I got the sun shades on, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't see me, I don't fucking see you, man. You see what I'm saying? And that's how you move incognito in, in this wicked ass society, bro. You have to move like that, man. Because time is getting even more fucking divine. Bro. And with us, and hey, the spirits don't hold me up. That's why when you go to the store, brother, hey, motherfuckers, he's staring. He's like, damn, why are you, why are you, why are you all up in my Facebook? Or why are you looking all up in my face? You know, so, hey, I went to a, was a Pat Express, I was doing a uh, DoorDash. I just walked in and I went by like this, stuck up there trying to wait for the order for the for the DoorDash. So Edomite just came, just, we had just got through a camp too. Edomite just came, bumped me, yeah. bumped me again. I'm like, dude, so I pushed him back. Then he's trying to make a big scene. You know what I mean? And then I'm like, I'm thinking, then what is, and I was like, this is spiritual because we just got through a camp. This yeah. Edomite, he's trying to, He's trying to push some buttons, yeah, trying yeah. to see, trying to get me to get carnal. And I'm just like, eh, I ain't gonna fall for it. You know? I feel you, man, because hey, next time I'm just walking the fuck away, but I, I, would, I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't even touch the damn devil, man, because the spirits can hop on you. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying? Because hey, we got we got to take L's in, in this truth. I understand what the brother said. Hey, sometimes, man, there's a need for force. And I'm gonna tell you this, and I remember telling you, brothers, man, hey, I had to 
I had I had to knock the soul out of somebody, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And the Lord, the Lord had it where where nothing happened to me. I, the cops weren't called on me. You know what I'm saying? But this 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 you know it was, it was like over some road rage shit, man. I wasn't the one in rage, by the way. You know what I'm saying? But this dude was raged up. You know he, he followed me to, to where I was going and shit. No, I, I, I don't let anybody get close to me, man. And I, and I read I read his spirit off the jump when he got out of the car, man. You know what I'm saying? So he, he you know he was as he was approaching me, man. I, I fucking unleashed hell on him, man. Knocked the spirit right out right out of him, man. Dude dropped like a fucking noodle, man. You get the noodle right, you drop the noodle. You know what I'm saying? Because hey, what did the Lord say? Right, right. And the Lord said he teaches our hands to fight, right? Hey, there you go. Hey, so after that event, hey, I gave all praise to God. I was shot, man. It wasn't off of nothing carnal, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just know that the Lord delivered me out of that situation. So I understand what you what you're saying, bro. You know, little small confrontations like that, man. I would just fucking take the L and leave, man. Hey, you know what? Fuck you. I understand. You're trying to make it. You're trying to get me to go off. So crazy, man. Hey, something I something I do is uh. Like if it gets to the point where you know, cause, cause, cause we've come a long way out of this world, man. Right? Yeah. Like, th if there's one thing this truth teaches you, it's patience, man. Oh yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. And uh, uh, you know, so so when I get to that point with me, and, and like I'm ready to like the next thing where you all you can think, man, I'm gonna hit this dude. Yeah. I, mean, I, I just start cursing him in the heat. I just do the curse. And uh, and usually that usually that resolves the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Because they, 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 they either get terrified too. or yeah, they'll look yeah. at me and just be like, just confounded. Bro. Right, you know right, I mean? right, right. But some, there's been times yeah, where I've done like, that, and like the person that. came back and they yeah. were apologizing, yeah. man. Yeah. And you could tell that like it just hit them. You know, they're just like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. You know, I didn't, I didn't mean to offend you and this and that. And I was like, hey, man, it is what it is. You know, it's too late for. Hey, I can forgive you, but now you just done offended me, and I called upon. The power that both kills makes alive, man. Damn, hey, you don't that's, realize that's, that that, that yeah. you you messing with a man right, that right. could that could do more than just hit you, man. Right? This, this is the power that could, that could that could that could do whatever the hell he could bring you back in the next world, and you could be happy walking like this, man. Or, or be like that dude in that wheelchair, <laughs> man, with Stephen Hawk, right? Yeah, that motherfucker in that wheelchair, like oh, this. He's in short. than a motherfucker, right? But more got him. Oh, no, man. Just like, hey, because what the script say? Hey, he said, I tell you who to fear. Fear him that can destroy both, both body and soul, soul, bro. In hell. Uh, in, in, That's what we are right now, bro. You, you're in hell. He ain't talking right. about under the ground. Right. Right. Motherfucker, right you in hell, man. Nope. Hey, <laughs> That's spiritual, though. Because that, right? yeah. that goes back to Meshach, Reshach, and Abednego. Uh, they, I don't know if you've seen that Bible story They did, that they played on TV. They, they re, redid the Bible I've thing. I've seen it, man. Uh, they had they had that where the dude he said uh, the, uh, he said hey this guy better stop because he don't know I'm gonna call on my God I was like oh yeah yeah on that, on that Bible story don't let me yeah. call my older brother man yeah he said I'm gonna call he said this dude don't stop I'm gonna call on my God. I was like wow that was spiritual call him the creator that created the creator. yeah yeah Yo, the heathen ain't created by Satan I mean Satan didn't sit there as the Lord was creating. The, the, the elect and, and, and the <laughs> angels and shit, and you had Satan over yeah. here creating. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. It wasn't like that, man. Hey, again, going back to Deuteronomy 32 and 39, we brought it out earlier. The Lord said he, you know, he he created the good and the evil, man. He's the deceiver you know, and the deceiver is, is man. Bro. So he created the deceiver yeah. to look this way. Right, he created right, right. the deceived to look this way and to admire the way the deceiver looked, man. <laughs> <laughs> and, and guess what? They all had to come and, 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 and uh, uh, to, to roll call before the Lord. Job yep. the second chapter. Yep. And you, 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 do you think those angels up there in the heavens, man, they're just doing their own thing? And so they all have to come appear before the almighty power. When they appear, guess what? They stand trembling, man. Like the scripture says. Yeah, all the hosts of angels stand with trembling, man. Can, can, you, can you imagine that, man? So that means that the angels are not just up there you know what I'm saying? One angel was turned this way. Other angel was like hat, this. Was hat other, cocked. Right, right, right. Other, other angel got his arms folded like this, man. Yeah, no, yeah. they're all right there standing before the Almighty bro, and, 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 and they're trembling, man, because that's the type of power that he is, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, can, see, I can see that vision, man. They're, they're all standing there in perfect order, but fucking trembling, though, man. Yeah. You can tell, you know what I'm saying, be, 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 before the Almighty power. But I, I can see that, man. It's yeah, I couldn't find that one that you was talking about, but oh, I, did, I, I did get this, though. It says, uh, first... Chronicles chapter 12 verse 32 yeah. and the children of of of, uh, of and the children of Issachar which were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do the heads of them were 200 and all their brethren were at their commandment right so they knew what to do. The Lord gave them the understanding, yeah. man. So some, you, 
That's the only thing about Esau. And we're breaking down everything you're going to do word for word, which you're going to get the karagma. You're going to you're going to go into debt, like and go back into uh, what's it, uh, Habakkuk. When it talks about how you, you're going to abat yacht, you're going to have debt, clay. You're going to have that clay. We, we're telling you all these things. You're going to go into the to Karagma, you're gonna, you're gonna go to war, World War II. We're telling you everything. You're gonna, you're gonna cause famine. You're gonna call. We say everything you're gonna do, yeah. and yet, you know what I mean? So he, he knows. He knows, man. He, you know what I mean? Like, like the apostle always said, you have, in order to tell a lie, you have you to know, know the, the truth. truth. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. man. And, and he, he's, you know, he don't, he don't, he, he basically doesn't ignore the, the Bible like that, man. He understands, man. He, ba he makes his moves based off the Bible. He, that's why these devils are in hiding. That's why they're under the ground, man. And what do you think it is? He made a space for us, man. There you go, man. Because you know something out of the heavens, man. Yeah. Like like that damn old devil said, right? You know what I'm saying? Something something out of the heavens, you know, come and we all put aside our differences and we, and we fight against this power coming from the heavens. Yeah, they, they know, man. Yeah, Christianity you know? is like a funny, funny Greek mythology twist of the scriptures, man. Because they, cause they even, they even, yeah, they yeah, even yeah. teach that, right? You have, I remember watching a movie on it. And you had a uh, uh, the guy who played Satan, and he created a big ass laser gun, right? And he and it, it showed it was supposed to be how was shy coming down on a actual horse out of the clouds, and he and he shot him down with the laser gun and oh, stuff. Oh, and, oh, but oh. now you see what actually, as, as we're living in prophecy, yeah. you're seeing the true embodiment of the spiritual demon Satan, and he actually set up a, a, a space force, yeah. an army, and the hosts of heaven to to, to, yeah. to defend him, man. That's right. And they all been revealing their laser weapons. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last year, uh, Russia showed that he has a truck. And on the back of the truck, it has a big thing, and it, and it shoots off a laser from the truck. Then uh, China showed that they have a laser, an actual laser gun, not on a vehicle, just one you can handheld. And then America said they have one too, handheld. But what do you think Star Wars is all about, bro? You know what I'm saying? So, so remember, man, Esau is, is fucking. Uh, hey, these devils are. are you know what? What did they say, man? How, how far they are in technology? I, I forgot exactly how it all went, man. But they're they're way ahead of us in technology, man. These phones that we have, bro, they've had this shit years, years and years ago, man. Oh, well, they did that in Men in Black. The Men in Black, he said, uh, he said all this stuff has 20 years. Oh, 20 that, years that's, yeah, time. that's what I'm probably trying to quote, man. Yeah, because he yeah. was sitting down on the bench with him. And he was basically telling him, man, that this stuff is like 20 years ahead of, ahead of us, man. You know, so, so, so we can see that. That's why also all those, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the satellites up there, man, it's also for that fake alien invasion, too. You know, the Project Blue Beam and shit, man. You know? So, it, hey, we're going to see a lot of things, oh, man. For more deceiving. More deceiving. Deceive, 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 deceive is. Yeah, but yeah. we're not going to be deceived, Bob, because uh, we're, we, we know these things are going to come. So when it comes, you're like, oh, yeah, that's that's what that is. And we saw the real thing, too. Like, we were out camp. We seen the chariots. Oh, yeah, we were always we seeing seen the chariots, always, right? Always. So we're going to know the difference between the actual chariot and then they fake chariots mm -hmm. that they're going to try to basically make people believe that this is something or whatever so they can panic or not whatever they're going to do. You know what I mean? Like, uh, what was it? Um, Independence Day. The other people went to, to the top of the building to worship the. Oh yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you see what, what happened to them? Yeah, you see what you happened. See what the hell happened to them, yeah. right? You got to <laughs> God, I got to tell this. Uh, this is uh, Second Corinthians two and eleven. Lest Satan should gain an advantage over us, us mm. for we are not ignorant to his devices. We ain't ignorant to the devices of this devil, man. We we know him better than he knows himself, man. And how do we know that? Because he revealed his secret to his servants, the saints, man. This is James 2 and uh, 19. It says, Thou believest that there is one God. Thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. And tremble, and tremble man. Yeah, how about that, man? Let me, let me grab this too. And I'm going to go to one that goes with that. Uh, Psalms 37, verse 7. Rest in Yahweh and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him that prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass, man. So these devils, right, they've been prospering, bro. They've made so much money off of you people's ignorance and fear. Man, these devils, hey, they've been richer than they have ever been. You know what I'm saying? You got millionaires turning into fucking billionaires, man. All right? This is this is what's going on with Esau right now, man, right? It's a cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, man. So we understand this. So these devils are in their, pros their prosperity. Like the scripture says, in his prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him, man. These, these devils, man, again, they, they have raked in so much fucking money, man, all right, off of you people's ignorance and fear, all right? I also wanted to grab this uh, going along with what the brother just brought out, right? Going back to 2 Ezra 8, verse 21, okay? Because there was some meat 
more meat on this uh, chapter verse, you know, uh, past this verse right here. So whose throne is inestimable, whose glory may not be comprehended, before whom the host of angel, angels stand with trembling, man. So that, that's the power that we serve, man. So are we to fear any fucking thing? Who the fuck are we going to fear, man? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Lord will put you to death for that, man, because you believe not, and therefore you would not be uh, defended, man. That's in, uh, what is that, Sirach, the second chapter? In the wilderness, the Lord was doing that when we, when we was afraid. He, he was zapping them down. Yeah, man, because, you know, hey, the Lord ain't dealing with the fearful and the unbelieving, man. The Lord will put your ass to death, man. Good. All right, so continuing on. Whose service is conservant, all right, in wind and fire, those word is true. Who, my, my bad. Whose word is true and saints constant, hey, man. Hey, the scriptures is always constant, all right? Always constant, always relevant. Whose commandment is strong in ordinance, fearful. Mm. How the Lord does things is fearful, man. Whose lip drive up the depths and indignation maketh the mountains to melt away, which the truth witnesses, man. You see what I'm saying? So we witness these things, that we understand these things, but that's the right. I mean, that's the right. Second Ezra 8, you know, 21. You know, going with, going with the brother brought out in our uh, that game? Uh, what's up? Re Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from, yeah. from Most High entered into them, yeah. and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them right, right. <laughs> which saw them. Right. They're basically the same thing, what you said. The, the devils know the truth, man. And they, they're, in, they're in great fear, man. Oh, yeah. They're in very great fear, man. Check this out. Uh, when you go to Wisdom of Solomon, and this proves too, right? You know, the spirit of God is going on these damn devils. So Wisdom of Solomon 2 verse 15, all right? Now, now this is what these damn devils have said, okay? All right? Uh, you know, let me back it up a little bit. I'm going to go to 14. He was made to approve our thoughts, man. And, and, and that's what we're doing, man. We're reproving these devils' thoughts, man. Their whole way, their system, the things that they fucking do, right? You know, uh, exposing them as counterfeits. That's why they get so uh, uh, frustrated, man. Because yeah. these people, hey, like the scripture say, just like the ruler of a people, right? So shall uh, the people, the, the father, the the subjects be, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. So so yeah. these people, they come up and we start we start saying things and and, and you know yeah. be be questioning the, their own thoughts, man. Yeah. Right. We turn around everything that they've been taught. Right. Right. They're yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Right. So how so so we can understand how a person would feel knowing that. Everything, especially if it's an older person, man. You say you like in your fifties and sixties and shit, and we tell you like, hey, everything that you that you've been told your whole life has been a goddamn lie. How's that person gonna feel? Yeah. Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Yeah. You, you see that? So, so, so again, that's that's why that's why uh, Morpheus told Neil that, man. He told him, listen, man, these people are not ready to be unplugged, man. They fucking kill you. <laughs> they turn you in. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They, they turn you into the law. And that's why Esau has it where the people are gonna start policing themselves, man. See that? So, so again, he is grievous. He is grievous unto us, even to behold. So, the, so the leech is saying, man, I can't even look at them, man, because what? Because them being out there is grievous unto me, because they're not prophesying anything right about me, man. Right. You, you see what I'm saying? They're prophesying that I'm gonna be destroyed, all right, and being changed. So he is grievous unto us, even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion, man. So what we do are. Our life is not like the average person, the average drink out there in the world, bro. This is, this is strange. You know what I'm saying? Our ways, the, what we're doing up here is of another fashion. And you people, you fucking people driving these cars, man, you couldn't imagine coming out here and standing up for shit. You see what I'm saying? That's why That's why Psalms 94 and 16, that don't fit you, man. You know, you, you, you go to the church building and be deceived and shit. You see what I'm saying? But as far as standing up for the Lord, yeah, leave that up to us, man. All right, because, because we actually enjoy doing this, man, because we understand that we're serving the, 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 the living power, man, the, the creator of everything, man. Yeah, that's okay? Why we, that's why we do it so well, man. You pick up this book that you were created for. Yeah, <laughs> man, what? <laughs> hey, you know what? Okay, hey, I you know what's funny, man? I, uh, I guess we yeah. myself real quick. Yeah. When, I, when I was in the world, man, I wasn't even about books like that. I'd be over there. I, I, every time there was, a like, a school uh, project, I, yeah, all right, yeah, which yeah, which yeah. one of these books could I think of that there was a movie about? Because yeah. I sure as hell ain't about to read it. <laughs> and guess what, man? Hey, the, the spirit the spirit hit, and the brother just started reading yeah. it. Hey, and boom, it was it was your time. Right. That that angel whispered in the back of your ear, man, and, and told you like, this hey, the way yeah, put down my eyes, my, and picked up yeah. the word. 
Yeah. <laughs> and boom, your life has changed ever since then, huh? Yeah, is, your, is your that, whole life has changed. Is that the one that says then. that he's not for our time? Um, yeah, I can keep going. No, no, yeah, yeah with Solomon solving yeah. two and six, and, and I like this one, man. Uh, like, like the brother was saying, um, probably a couple weeks ago, man. And we know Esau better than he knows his fucking self, man. All thanks to the word. All praise to how about I was shy, man. We 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 understand what these devils are doing, man. We have to drop on you devils, man. Hey, how, how about that? Go we ahead. got to drop on what you motherfuckers planning and doing to the people, man. You know what I'm saying? Primarily to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Whom are preparing a table for that troop? Hey, uh, the brother was talking about that. How that king was? How the hell are they learning my plan? How do you think yeah, this devil yeah, feels, man? Yeah. How the, <laughs> right, who told right. them? Who told them who they right, are? Right. I thought, exactly. they, I, they thought, I thought they thought they was Black Panthers and what have you. Damn. Damn. How about that? <laughs> At That's least we so had them under our thumb then. Yeah. So again, it, it's grievous even for these devils to, to see us, man. That's so why they want to put the, the, the black on the Israelite. Yeah. To try to put us back in that box. Back in that witchcraft, yeah, bro. Yeah, because yeah. that black, that, that's, that's evil, that's negative, right? right? Void of light. You see what I'm saying? That's why, that's why you, you camps with guns are, 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 are off too, man. Because I was thinking about with, with these black panther movements, the reason why they were able to fuck them up is because of their guns. They were in there, they had a whole bunch of guns in that house. Uh, well, that it was legal, legal but they he was guarding. Yeah, law. it was legal. They were able they to went pass guns. law. Esau went past law to make it illegal yep. so they can get but, you, but, but, get but look at us, we don't even, we don't even mess it. We don't, we don't promote guns like that, man. Because our defense is the Lord, man. Yeah, wisdom is better than weapons of war. You see what I'm saying? And we stand by that, man. You're not going to see us up here with no... No handgun. You can't no say that enough, huh? You really can't say that enough. Right. You gotta <laughs> say that all the time, like right, man. You know, and that, and that's such a powerful uh, uh, precept right there, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Wisdom is better than weapons of war, man. Hey, strength coming, strength coming from heaven, not in the multitude of the hopes, man. Hey, there was another time, man. You know, way when I was first like, like uh, uh, you know, prophesying and stuff, and I had a work backpack. Mm -hmm. I would bring, and uh, I had a work knife on it. And I ended up, Esau grabbed it. Esau actually grabbed it and tried ripping it off my back and everything, man, the, the police. Damn. And when we're at camp, yeah, they just jumped up. And, uh, so, you know, I, I mean, you know, I ended up, another one was there. They're like, hey, calm down. And, you know, so it wasn't like nothing crazy, but it was still crazy enough, you know. And they, uh, they, I got, I got fucking charged for that knife, man. Yeah. They gave me a, a weapons charge for having a, for having a, it was a work knife. Yeah. But you know, but you know what? I shouldn't have had it out there, man. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, Esau because, for anything, yep. you can cheek in your armor. You see what I'm saying? Esau is going to, you know, mm -hmm. them, them, them demons are going to try to uh, utilize And it's because it's I was working late, yeah. so I was going straight from work to camp, you know? Yeah. But but again, you know, you just... <laughs> so how much more a gun, you know right, what I mean? Right, exactly. Even a fucking pocket knife, man, because, you know, I mean, I, I have one in my car. I usually carry something like that on me. It's just, you know, that's just, that's just you know, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you carry, you know, some type of tools and shit, right? Mm -hmm. um, let me keep going with this, right? Wisdom of Solomon 2, verse 16. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's exactly what we say up here, man. If you ask us about these damn devils, but we're going to tell you that they're fucking counterfeits, man. Tyler Yodi. All right, exactly, bro. They're calling themselves Israel, Jacob, right? So he has stated from our ways as filthiness. He pronounced of the end of the just to be blessed. Yeah, that's what, that's what we say, right? He make a boast that the Most High is his father. Yeah, how about that? It's, let us see. But hey, check this out, though. What, what I love about this scripture, right? It lets us know that Esau has tried all right to to uh to tempt the most high into fucking with us man you, you see what i'm saying so these so you better believe that there was times when camp was over or even during camp that these devils try to do something to you man i mean we are around all these fucking dudes. all these i gotta do bro is take his fucking sniper rifle up there and, and start letting loose you see what i'm saying so we we understand the possibility of these things but we're not afraid of them because we know that the angels are around us so this scripture right here proves to you bro that these devils have tried to do some shit to us but you know or, or the cuba thing remember they said it just did in that remember the cuba christ thing when the dude got sick they said it was like it was like a gun like a ray it just shoots energy and the people didn't know they all got sick oh okay cuba. yeah yeah yes yeah. yeah. so crazy, they, they could shoot a little gun that just shoots out yeah. energy. Energy, right. And, and, energy and, and mess, it, yeah. it messes up. Si silent weapon. Silent weapon, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So we understand these devils have all that, man. You know what I'm saying? They could have infiltrated on all the camp, man. They, they have us all marked in America who we are, man. They could have moved in. But again, this scripture right here, Wisdom of Psalm 2, verse 17. Let us see. You know, this, so this is Esau speaking now, right? Let us see if his words be true. And let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. Look how demonic these devils are, right? For if the just man be the son of the most high, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies, man. So these devils, they tried this and they see that we are. 
that we that we are the sons of the Most High, man, because they tried this already, man. You see what I'm saying? Let us examine him with despitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. And also they're gonna run, but they're gonna they're gonna move in on us. It speaks about Yahweh Shai told us that, right? We go to Matthew 24. They shall deliver you up and they shall kill you. You're right. So we understand that they are physically physically gonna move on us, man. And then that's when the Lord is gonna set up that standard on these fucking. You should have tribulation ten days. Yeah. Oh yes, please, please make that first move, Esau. <laughs> oh, yeah. We wait, we waiting for that. That standard's gonna be lifted up, man. And brothers, hey, you man, you're gonna have that almighty power, bro. There you go. We you wait, know? we waiting for the bully no. to throw the punch so our I mean, big brother goes, can get up. This goes into what you, you <laughs> yeah. were talking about earlier. This is uh uh Psalms seventy five and four, and I say unto the fools, deal not foolishly, and to the wicked lift not up the horn, let lift not up your horn on high speak not with with a stiff neck so like you were saying you're talking to the to, to do and then next year you know now you into this whole little altercation because what our people are stiff neck and so is esau he's, yeah. he's the death adder yeah so we're always not marketing to charmers we're, we're right. the charmers man yeah it just goes to being uh, uh using wisdom wise as serpents yet harmless as doves man you know, so that really it, it, it caught me, taught me, gave me something to learn, right? Oh, yeah. Which was to, uh, you know, <laughs> use wisdom, man. Yeah, so you know, I should, I should have made sure. Hey, you know, I'm gonna yeah. keep that in there because yeah. yeah. Esau could demonize me, man. Right, right, exactly. And, and we can learn from our mistakes, man. Yep. You see what I'm saying? The Lord is perfecting us out here. You see what I'm saying? So we learn from our mistakes and we learn from the example that the Lord puts forth, man, which is our apostles, our elders. You see what I'm saying? They tell us certain things. You know, so we don't have to make those those uh, those mistakes, man. But sometimes the Lord just wants you to run your way, man. You know, sometimes that, that's that's the case, man. You gotta run. Second Ezra chapter uh, sixteen and verse seventy it says, "For it, there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, mm -hmm. but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, and they shall waste." and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Hey, so there you go, man. So you go, then, then it's gonna be known who the chosen are because what? All those, right, that, 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 that fear the heavenly father are gonna be persecuted, man. And that's that day that the brother said, the heavenly father is gonna lift up a standard, man. Yeah. But first we gotta go through it Right, in order for those miracles to come to play, man. Yeah. yeah. That was a Revelation chapter 12, verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, oh, yeah. which kept the commandments Wait, so the dragon, of the Most High. The dragon, the serpent, the, yeah. <laughs> all these right. different names this devil got, right, man. Right, right, right. Right, but Leviathan, that, 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 that old serpent. See that? He's not actually speaking about Leviathan because he is down there, man. And you double, hey, you people have been seeing glimpses of him. See, hey, some, some are credible, some some are, you know, are, are fake. You know what I'm saying? But we understand that he is down there. And the Lord is going to, you know, have to come out. Yeah, you know, man. It's like your Godzilla movie, man. That's, that's, why, that's why I like that movie so much, Godzilla, man. Because, you know, the Lord is going to really unleash the Kraken, man. You know? <laughs> you know? Which kept the commandments of the Most High and have... The testimony of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Yeah, so how are we keeping the commandments of the Most High when well, we're out here on the highways and the hedges, man? Which, which this is the most important right here, man. Yeah, we, we, we you know, to the best of our abilities, we do our videos throughout the week, right? But this is the most important right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you're out here, you're being seen. You see what I'm saying? You're being seen. That this, this, this is the highest form of faith right here is to come out here and put forth this work. You tell the average Christian, okay, so you believe in God, right? So go out there every week and go teach him. Would you do that? Would you do that? Would you go teach it everyone? Well, well, you know, uh, uh, uh. you know what I'm saying? You know, you you would you wouldn't do that, man. So this is the highest level of, of faith right here, man. And the Lord commends us for this. The Lord says, "How beautiful are the feet of them that preach that preach the gospel, man." And we're preaching it out here on, on the highways and hedges, man. You see that? So also going to Isaiah 59, right? I'm gonna start at one. I'm gonna jump around. Behold, Yahweh's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear, man. So, hey, the Lord hears our prayers, man. All right? He knows that we want to, you know, we uh, separate from this fucking place, man. So, going to uh, Isaiah 49 and 19. <clears throat> All 
right? Uh, you know what? Let's start at uh. Yeah, because the world's given this illusion that the Heavenly Father has some kind of T-Rex arms, man. Yeah. He can't, 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 can't right, help you right. out. <laughs> and so, so what are you going to do? You're going to run to Esau for help, which which really goes to what we've been conditioned to, right? You shall go to the to your enemy for the want of all, all things, things, man. Yeah. So naturally, we've just learned, hey, you go run to this devil. Hey, just like a cat. The cat's going to go to the owner because they know that's the right. food person, man. Right. Yeah. Esau has become your yeah. food person. Right. But we've been so told that what? Too. The Heavenly Father set this food person up, and this motherfucker's been feeding me poison, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's crazy, because what? On, on one hand, God can save everybody, save the whole world, but on the other hand, you want to put him in a box. You know yeah. what I mean? So, so like you said, they're, they're saying he got T-Rex hands, arms like he can't save uh, 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 you Israelites, man. That's the only reason why they, they, they say he can save the world. You can save all the world, but not you Jakes. That's the way they see it. <clears throat> Anybody but you, that's that's the main thing that Vocab was saying. He was saying that he came out and said, Well, there are some black Jews, and then the dude was like, Well then what about just not you? He he, he even said it. Just just not you guys. Right, right, well, how would that. you know when we're scattered? Right. Right. We're scattered in the four winds of the earth. So how can you know who's who's an Israelite or not? You know what I mean? That's right, man. We know by you know it's, it's in our, our spirit, man. Spirit bear witness, man. See what I'm saying? That's in Romans, right? Yeah. All right. So listen. So um, so Isaiah 59, verse 14. And judgment is turned away backward, and justice stand up afar off. For truth is fallen in the street, and iniquity cannot enter. Yet truth felleth, and he that departed from evil making himself a prey. So that's what we have done, brothers. All right? Because we departed from evil, which is this fucking world. Going back to Psalms 23, right? The valley of the shadow of death. You see what I'm saying? So we departed from evil, therefore we made ourselves a prey. All right, so check it. I'm gonna run it back again. Yeah, truth fell up, and he that departed from evil, making himself a prey. And Yahweh saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. And there's no judgment. There's no righteous judgment here, man. You see what I'm saying? You put in murders and in prison and shit. You fucking kill the motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? And all the other uh, foolishness that goes on here, all the other people. So 16. And he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him. So, hey, his, his arms, right? His arms brought salvation. And his righteousness is sustained him. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, accordingly, he will repay. So that's what the Lord is going to do, man. He's always done it, right? So what makes it different now? Because you got technology, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you got Teslas and shit, all right? But then again, you got power lines that's from the 1930s and shit. It's like who we're speaking about? You got these sagging power lines. And shit. You see that? So recompense. Uh, let me run it back. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay. Theory to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies. To the islands, he will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. So these devils, they know that. <clears throat> Again, going back, we keep quoting, man. You know, let me just bring it out. I don't think we brought it out yet. We just keep quoting it. But let me just bring it out for edification. Revelation 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you again. The devil speaking about Esau, right? The physical counterpart of spiritual demons, Satan. All right, has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath for a short time. And that's why these devils don't give a fuck that they're sending all this aid to these other countries, man. They don't care that you people you know, you know, and that you're pissed off and you're angry about it, man. They know that their time is up. They're doing these things, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they're trying to bring forth their their agenda. Their, their time is up. Going back to Job 14 and 5, man, they, they know that they have balance that they cannot pass, man. That's why all these things are going on around the earth. Because your time is up, man. That movie Denzel Washington made, right? Time is out, out of time. You know, you know, you, you, your, your time is fucking up, man. And that's why that movie, uh, I don't know if you brother seen it, man. Uh, Quantumania, uh, Quantumania, man. It's like the Ant movie, man. Oh, that's a bad movie, man. Oh, I forgot the Jake's name, but he played Oh, it. yeah, Kun, Kun, yeah. yeah. He played it at the Yeah, how was shy? He had the. He had the yeah, the, the, oh, the gold. Hey, that's yeah, I thought bad that movie. first thing I thought was Yeah, how was shy? Man. We had the purple. The you brothers gotta see that movie. Yeah. You, you have to see that, man. You have to see that. 
you know, but he basically told Esau, man, he said, I got something that you want more than anything. He said, what? He said, more time. And when I saw that, I had, to, I had to pause that movie. I had to pause the movie, man. I damn near spit my wire. Up. <laughs> I damn near spit my wire in my mouth, man. Like, wait, what did he just say? He was saying some cold shit to Esau, man. Hey, you and your son see that movie. Oh, yeah, that's a badass movie right there, man. He said, I have something that you want, and that's more time. Because you devils know that you are out of fucking time, man. Hey, that's it. Hey, it's, it's a wrap, man. Hey, he, Esau's done, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you, you can roll the credits, man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> God, God, I got a, a couple quick ones. This is uh, Matthew 10 and 16. It says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be, hey, so what happens with you a sheep among a midst it's of wolves, man? The hell up. You're going to get torn up. That's us out here, yeah. man. Yeah. This is the valley of the shadow of death. Yeah. Yep. It says, Be ye therefore wise as serpents, yet harmless as doves. So we got to be uh, we gotta be a step ahead of these Egyptians yeah. out here, man. Right. You see? <laughs> Uh, a wise as a serpent, yet harmless as a dove, man. I mean, we ain't out there beating the hell out of people, and we and we using our wisdom, right, man. Right? right. right? So, Which you know, don't get it twisted. We're not gonna you know let somebody come up and slap us around. All right. right. But nonetheless, right. Yahweh Shai said, uh, uh, "Right, turn the other cheek, man." So hey, we got a, we got a tough, uh, uh, heavy patience, knowing that the heavenly Father is gonna bring the judgment, man. You see. And again, Yahweh Shai wasn't saying that just so you could take an ass whooping. Right? Just being just let it go, right, man. Right. Lord, just, just let it go. You. Just turn around and let it go, right, man. Right. The Lord just lacing you up with wisdom. He's telling you how to move. Hey, yeah, the scripture says it is yeah. impossible to be at peace with all men. Uh -huh. you just, yep. I know there's certain situations that you can't avoid. Like I said, one that I was in, while, while I literally had to knock the dude the fuck out, man. And, and, and heaven follows with me when I did so, man. Because well, Christianity you know? teaches it like, uh, right? Like you, you get a slap in the cheek, then go ahead. Oh, then hit the other one, man. Oh, yep. Then the next one. Right, 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 right. Hey, just, just walk away and let it go, man. What's going on, man? Oh, and then this is what I wanted to grab earlier, man. This is in the uh, NI, the NIV, because the KJV, it just says it's a talent. But this is King David's crown, man. It says, uh, First Chronicles uh, 20 and 2, it says, David took the crown of, the, of their king from his head, and he found it to weigh a talent of gold. And there was a precious stone in it, and it was placed on David's head, and he brought brought about the spoil to the city, uh, uh, and it weighed 75 pounds. 75 Damn, pounds. A 75-pound crown, man. Yeah. So just imagine what the elect crowns are going to look right, like, man, right. that are going to be crowned specifically by Yahweh Shai, man. And not only that, but each and every brother, hey, we, you know, we, we, we all the same, we all in one body. But different brothers have different likings according to their spirit, man. Right. So this brother may be into this stone, that stone. You, we may know a stone that we ain't even don't even know about yet, man. Right. But right. the Heavenly Father the has a crown right. fashioned according to this particular brother, man. Right. You see? So just imagine that, man. And hey, if King David's crown was 75 pounds, just imagine the crown upon the elect, man. I mean, imagine a 75 pound crown. You probably that's, see that thing from heavy. miles away, man. That's heavy. The, the, the glistening coming off the jewels and what have yeah. you. Yeah, you already hey. know, and it's not going to say made in China, man. Yeah, you know, that, that crown is coming from another realm. You got any questions, my man? So, the Mexicans, they're the Mexicans, they're our, they're 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 Israelites, too. Uh, yes, they are. Yes, they are, man. They're, they're, they don't, so they far, don't act like Latinos you know, Native American. They're, well, of course, because they're, 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 they're on the curses. Hey, can I say something? We're on the curses. That's why I'm, 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 I'm the tribe of Israel. I'm telling you right now, man, right now we're getting it in with y'all, bro. Like, I'm talking like nasty, ugly hatred. We get it in. I'm, I'm a the well, well, the Lord, the I'm Lord, love, hey, so. the Lord is creating, love, so. creating the race war, man. Right now, homie, we, we ain't. I'm, me and mine, we ain't really clicking with the Mexicans. They are hateful towards us. Hey. But that's all good, though. Hey, you, you could say me and mine, but right yeah. here, we want body, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is my brother. I would lay my life down for this brother just like I would for that brother. That's right. Because we, we have so so I'm, I'm, I'm used to. I'm, I'm yeah. used to. I'm used to hatred from Mexicans all my whole life. And and you know what? Hey, can I say something real quick? That's from a Mexican, not an Ishikar, right? Right. right, right. So an Ishikarite is somebody who came out of the world. A Mexican is somebody who's right. still in the world hey, claiming so to be. Hey, so, check, so check this out. So did the Mexicans put you into slavery? Did they put you into slavery? So the so-called white man, he put you there. No, so that I'm, hatred I'm needs saying, to go I'm towards saying, him. Though. Be beyond, yeah. beyond all, though, bro. Because they, they, they were hateful. hateful. They were, but they were that. fucked up too. They got fucked up too by the. You know what I'm saying? So they're they're, they're suffering from these damn devils too. 
And not only that, bro, and we all been taught to fucking hate each other, man. So I understand where, where you coming from, bro. Especially with, with, with Title 42 engine and more motherfuckers coming over here. You know what I'm saying? I understand what, what, what you're saying. Yeah. You feel me? But that doesn't just, take I'm away. I'm just saying, though, that they're, that they're if part, they are a part of the 12 yes. tribes, tribes, they are. Brother, I cannot tell. Let me, let me, let me grab this real quick for you, brother. Like, check this out right here. This is prophecy right here. Okay. Right? I was going to grab that too, but then I started thinking this. This is Isaiah. This is Isaiah 11 and 11. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again a second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and assemble the outcasts of Israel, right? So all these Israelites that's been scattered throughout the world, he's going to assemble, right? It says, And gather together this dispersed of Judah. Right, the so the so called blacks, right, right, and from the four corners of the earth, the envy also of Ephraim, Ephraim yeah. and that's supposed yeah. to be the northern kingdom, the so called uh, Latin tribes, yeah. right? So the envy between, right, they the so called blacks yeah. and the Latins, right, right. What's going to happen with it? It says shall be shall depart. Woo! So yes, there will yeah, be envy there. Man. That's how yeah. we came in the world, and we did have hatred for each other. Yeah. But guess what? When I became an Ishikarite and not a so called Mexican, yeah. that went away, man. That's gone because it's prophecy, man. We're coming back to life out of death, right? It says, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel together. It says, oh, like it says, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Embryum shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Embryum. But what are we going to do together, man? Verse 14. But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines toward the west and shall spoil them of the east together. They shall lay their hand upon Edom, the so-called white man, Woo! and Moab, and that? the children of Ammon shall obey them. Bro, man, so we got to in the Japanese. Man. We gonna man, can't on. live on bread alone. Yep, but, but every word, but every word, bro. So this is the KJV. So check this out. I know you got some too. Jeremiah 50 and 33, verse 33. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. So they're part of Israel, right? Were oppressed together. And all that took them captive, held them fast. They refused to let them go, man. So we understand also they have a history, too, of being fucked up underneath these devils, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell, they were fucking up uh, Iskar so much, bro, when they had to go to the interiors of Africa and bring us here. You know what I'm saying? Because they were killing them off. In that movie, right, uh, 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 Wakanda, right, the newest one, they showed where the Mexicans were oppressed as well. They were, they were showing the dude on uh, Kuku Khan. He was, he was seeing a vision of his people being fucked up by the white man as well, man. And from there, what they have done, bro, they completely divided us and made us fight against each other. But we still live amongst each other, though, man. We can't get away from each other because we're all oppressed together. You, you, see, you see what I'm saying? So when we got into this truth, bro, hey, that, that hatred for, for, uh, for the Mexicans and shit, you know, that, that, that shit just went, that shit went away, man. Because we know that we are of the same people. And that's for the elect. That's for the elect. So the elect is going to come back to that. But we got some of our people who are still in ignorance. So the Lord says they that, feel that way. And they feel that way. So I got, I got that. So this is Isaiah chapter 9, verse 21. Manasseh, Ephraim, and Ephraim and Manasseh, they together shall be against Judah. So that's that's that whole northern kingdom. They're still going to be against them. Hey, and, and that what, what that is, what you said, you said, I can't picture them being Israelites because of their hatred. That's prophecy that they are actually Israelites because of their hatred. Right. So they're going to hate us. And, and if I can say something, too, because my, cause my I, I was brought up in like the, the during the, the La Raza movement, right? Brown pride and all this in the flesh, this carnalism, right? Before I came into the truth. And I remember my dad, he was, he, he was saying something. He was like, yeah, he's like. He's like the 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 so he's like we're our own people. we're fighting for our own thing so he's trying to teach me that separation right and I remember one day I was looking and he had he had the 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 Cesare, the so called white Christ on his neck I'm like man this he's over here telling me some separation between us and and you know the the southern kingdom and yet he got the white man who's put us all in oppression on his neck and this is when I started waking up to the truth you know what I mean so the spirit started waking me up I'm like man why why is he over here talking about talking about the, our brothers who've been under the same persecution man. When we're over here worshiping the so-called white man, well, he's the one that we, we should be coming against with, as we as we just read his prophecy, man. You see, but go go ahead, brother. Yeah, going back to this, but going into uh, also, uh, what is it? Uh, Zechariah uh, thirteen and eight says two thirds of our people are going to die, so two thirds are going to stick to hating hating Judah. So it says, um, yeah, Ephraim and Manasseh shall they shall together shall be against Judah, Damn. and for all yeah. this. His anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. So it's still going to happen. But when you come into this, 
You put that away because the Lord said put put on a new man. So that's what he said. Yeah. He came in this, he put on new men. All of us put on new men, and now this is our brother. We will die for this man. Because yeah. we understand the scripture. So check this out, bro. I'm gonna give you one more scripture. Genesis 49, verse 14. This is how we know that Issachar, right, is a part of the 12 tribes. So Issachar is a strong ass crouching beneath two burdens. All right. So Issachar, right, they're they're, they're hard workers. Everybody knows that they pretty much built up America, man. You, you see what I'm saying? They're always the ones in the construction sites. All right, and he saw that rest was good in the land that it was pleasant and bowed his shoulder to bear and became a servant to tribute, man. So again, they're going to hell just like how we are. You see what I'm saying? But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you now, man, the title 42 and all those uh, so-called Mexicans that are coming here, they're coming here for judgment. Uh, get Isaiah 66 and 15, man. This is why you're seeing an influx of all these immigrants coming to America, man, because the Lord is about to blow fire upon this place, man. You know what's going on in, in, in you know, in Russia and China and all that? I, 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 come into the, I come into the truth, man. I come into the truth, okay. man. Do you teach anywhere or you just been listening, listening uh, online and I've all been, that? actually, man, I've been in, I've been into this truth. Man. I first discovered the truth in, like, about 2013. Ever since then, man, I've just been on a quest for the truth. I, I know I'm from the tribe of the truth. Okay. I know I'm, yes, it's, it's I, I know I'm from the southern kingdom. You know what I'm saying? I know it's in my spirit. I know who I am. I know I'm not just some little African. I'm not an African. Probably with the white man's clothes. I'm, I'm right. not putting this white man in the devil's set. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm from this way. Yeah. Uh, right, right. Exactly. Good. Exactly. As a matter of fact, I was on the bus and I seen you guys. I don't know what it was. It's like an impulse or something. Well, check this out. Get let me get, let me, let me, let me get a scripture for him real quick, man. Hey, that's the we were talking about that earlier, yeah. too. Yep. Man, hey, so check this out. Hey, that, that's what I'm going to grab right now. So Proverbs 20, verse 24. And this is why you got off that bus, man. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man understand his own way? And you, when you also go to the, uh, Job, the Lord says that how when you're sleeping, he seals your instructions. So the fact that you're over here and you're listening to this, bro, hey, it was all by divine, man. You know what I'm saying? And again, what we're telling you that, hey, with, with, the, with, the, uh, with the Mexicans, right, that whole Indian shit, well, when we come into this truth, bro, that shit departs. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm they're, they're, they're right, part right of the now, I can be, tribe, bro. I'm in the hood, yeah. and I got a group of women. Group, they're coming up in cars. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's going yeah, you know to get that's bad. That's what I'm dealing with. Yeah, it's it's going to get bad. I'm affiliated, but I wish I kind of wasn't. But it's too late for me to take it back. It's too late for me to, 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 to be like, I don't want to be anymore. You know what I mean? I wish I could have I wish I could take it back, but I can't, man. Once, I, once, I, once you join, you can't unjoin. Well, what, what are you talking about? Are you talking about like a gang or something yeah, like that? Yeah, like, you... um, yeah. Well, listen, you gotta understand where, where these things came from, bro. That, that shit came from the fucking white, that whole red and blue shit. That was, that was, the, fuck, that was the fuck us up, man. You, you see what I'm saying? So so the Crips and the Bloods and all that, bro, hey, all that shit was designed by these fucking devils, man. You know what I'm saying? They have us at each other's heads, bro. That's all that shit is designed for, bro. You got to check a lot of that shit, man. Especially you calling yourself an Israelite, bro. Can I say something too, man? Because really, what, we, we all came out of the yeah. world, right? We all came out of being 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 uh, under persecution, I'm right? Cursed, yes. right? So we understand where the gang mentality, that's family, yes. man. Yeah. We got we to gotta find something. Guess what? But guess what? This right here, brother, this is family. You ain't gonna ever see this dissipate right here. You ain't gonna see brothers snitching on each other. You ain't gonna see right. brothers trying to get one over you on each other, looking at each other. We don't even bring our women around each real. other, man. Yep. Yep. You see, this is a brotherhood right here. You see? And uh, let me, I'm gonna grab this for you real quick. Luke 1 and 37, it says, for, God, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. So, you, hey, if, you're, if you ain't with the most high, then you, hey, you might, think, think, you, things might not go your way. But if you with the most high, you sincerely try to lead, brother, you just pray. Be in, be in the spirit, be with the most high. The most high will get you out, man. Yeah, get you out of that shit, bro. But, but be wise, though. Be wise. Yeah, because again, you know, these these things were set up to destroy our people, bro. I know all about that. I know all about that, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking good, too, man. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't go that far with the gang, man. Yeah, you know, I was going to say that, too, about the... The uh, Esau going to the the, the 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 whole thing with the Democrat and Republican. That's a that's a paradigm. Good eat like they set that up. That's why you think the Republicans is red and the right. Democrats is blue. That all comes from them. Like yeah. you say, Esau. Yeah. Why you think they decided to make all the the police cars black and white? That goes into to the Garden of Eden going into being good and evil, right? Makes sense. But that's without they they don't have the the full wisdom. So they all that thing is just. 
for you to be in the, you know, they always play, when you deal with the police, what they always play, good cop, bad cop. You got one cop that'll come up to you and say, hey, guy, just just let me know, blah, blah, blah. You got the one that comes to be like a hard ass, but normally, the one that's the hard ass is the one who actually got your best interest. Hey, uh, there, you know what there's mean? A, a brother who I've been dealing with for many years, and uh, he used to be a rolling 40 crib. And he got, he got shot three times in the neck, severed his vertebrae, he was supposed to die. And uh, uh, he's, he's crippled now from the neck down. And guess what? That brother found the truth, man. One of the most mightiest brothers I've ever known, man. The brothers in DC, they go, they hold, they will hold a Passover with him. But guess what? Where, where all them crips at? Gone. But guess who? Guess who's around him? Us, man. He even tells us, "Man, you brothers are my closest family." Mm. And it reminds me of brother. tales of the crips. The, yeah, uh, the crip, because I was a man most high could have just ended you, but but he saved that brother. And truly, in the spirit, save that brother. You know, Lord willing, I, I believe he's part of the elect, man. But I mean, you know, time will tell. But, but yeah, man, it's, there ain't nothing beyond this. Truth Another right testimony here. is my car broke down. I live way in Coolidge. A brother went, drove from way from Phoenix, just to pick me up, to take me all the way, 60, 70 miles, just so I can go to camp. These are real brothers, man. My real brothers are real brothers. Man. Right, man. So, so you got to separate yourself from certain people in order for the Lord to deal with you. Uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 17, Wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, man. So you got to get away from that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord has to separate you. Obviously, you know about the truth, bro, which is the first step. I mean, the fear of the Lord is the first step. You see what I'm saying? So separate yourself from that shit, bro, and the Lord will start dealing with you even more and even deeper, man, where you can come out here and, and put forth the work. See what I'm saying? Because it's also commanded when you go to Proverbs 1 and 22, the Lord said to come out into the highways and edges, man. So this right here is a commandment what we're doing, bro. You know, teaching this truth, man. Still got the Isaiah 66. Okay, here you go ahead and get that because that's why a, a lot of those illegal immigrants are coming out here, man. It's judgment. 6, 6, 15? Yeah. It says Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. They're not coming out here to take over and shit. You know what I'm saying? Take over and nah, They're coming out here with fucking judgment, man. Go ahead. For behold, the Lord, which is the most high, yeah will come with fire so if they knew that if they knew the scripture they would not they would never bring their asses out here they would they would go off fucking grid where the fuck they're from knowing that america is going to be destroyed with fire Keep going. and with chariots like a whirlwind yep, that's, that's his chariot friends you've been seeing these different signs in the heavens Keep going. rendering his, his anger with fury yep. and his rebuke with flames of fire yep. Keep going. for by fire and by his sword will the Most High plead with all flesh. So that plead means judge, man. So the Lord is going to he's going to judge all flesh with that fire, man. But first, it's going to be all out hell, man. You know what I'm saying? Have you heard of Jacob's trouble? Hey, let's get let's get that real quick. Go to Jeremiah 30, bro. Hey, it's just <laughs> oh boy, it's going to be bad, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to need the Lord on your side, man. You know what I'm saying? To combat. You know what I'm saying? For the Lord to guide you and where you need to go. Because there's going to be an all-out fucking grace for man. You see what I'm saying? So go ahead and get that. Yeah, I can feel it. You can feel it. In the oh yeah, air. You, you can feel it. You can feel that energy. You feel it in the air, man. It's, it's and when you go to the store, you can feel it. When you out and when you out driving, you can feel it everywhere I go. Especially, I know you can feel it on a bus. I know you can feel it when you're on a bus, but a motherfucker is ready to snap. But don't get carnal and go crazy. And that's funny he came up here because we were going into this. You know what I'm saying? Like how how you know the Lord is telling us to be wise as serpents, harmless as doves, man. Yeah, let, me bring, let me bring that out to you. Go ahead and get that, man. We'll, we'll, Says, we'll uh, that back out. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble. So, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Man. But he shall be saved out of it. There you go, man. The men that are in this truth, that believe in the, the Lord, bro, are going to be saved out of it. So, uh, again, going back to Matthew 10, Verse 16, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as a serpent and harmless as doves, man. So we're not going to be out here fighting these motherfuckers, man. Anybody giving you a dirty look and shit, bro? Hey, hey, don't, don't entertain that shit. Go the other fucking way. You know what I'm saying? Hey, take, take the L. Go the other way. The Lord said it to be at, at, at all possible. Be at peace with all men, man. That, and that's the truth. We're no choir boys up here, man. Hey, we had to put our hands on people before. I was telling people how I had to not too long ago, man. I had to knock the motherfucker. Man. And, and how ironic is it that it was a, a so-called Mexican that I had to knock the fuck out? Because yeah. the motherfucker came up to me on, on some crazy shit, man, and I laid his ass out and the Lord was with me, man. You see what I'm saying? But 
again, there's certain instances, man, where, hey, where the Lord is going to have to do some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But 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 again, you know, you can comment as a dove. You know what I'm saying? Why is it a serpent? You know, so this is uh, uh, Micah chapter 5 and verse 8. It's easy to eat right now. We're going to be as sheep in the midst of wolves, right? But this is what we're going to become, though, right? It says, And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion. And of the beasts of the forest as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if he go through, both teareth down and teareth in pieces, and none can deliver. Thine hand shall lift up upon thine adversaries, and all thine enemies shall be cut off. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith Yahweh, that I will cut off thy horses out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy chariots, and I will cut off the cities and thy land and throw down the strongholds. So basically we're gonna be raised from fishers to hunters. That's talking about us going from sheep, like the brother just read, to lions. But first, as he said, we gotta go through it. So it takes patience. Basically, like we're sitting there patient, right? Motherfuckers in your face yelling, screaming, right? But you know that as soon as you take that swing, it's gonna be beyond any power he's at. He's gonna learn this devil's about to learn what true power is out here. But we be impatient, waiting for our king to bestow that power upon us. Like I was talking about, we walked up that crown, right? We gonna be crowned, man. <laughs> they, they have they have no idea what 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 power is until they see us make our first swing, man. But that comes after patience. Yeah, the, the scripture says, "Wait upon me," saith the Lord. Wait up to the fray. Wait to rise up to the fray. So this this wacky, he's finna get he's finna get his. You know I mean, even though, even two thirds of our people, they're gonna get it, man. They got they're wicked. We Esau's the wicked, but two thirds of our people are wicked too. So they're gonna get it. They're gonna get it too. So even though the so called Mexican get, they're gonna get it. You gotta get into this truth fully. You gotta fully come in, man. So I see you got the spirit, the zeal. So you gotta come in fully, like the elders said. And brothers talking about getting that vengeance, right? Even the elders have said it. They're like, man, we gonna be jumping over Edomites to be getting some of you Israelites, man, or so called Israelites. Because like you said, some of our own people are wicked as hell. So you stay patient. The heavenly Father is gonna let you tear through some Mexicans, not some Mishkarites, but through some Mexicans, man. Because yeah, so what they're they're the two th they're, they're still in the world, so they're gonna die right where they belong, just like right. Stevie on Jacob. Right, you right where you belong, man. You're gonna die right with your master. You wanna hate and fight your own brother? You're gonna die right along with the devil that taught you that. Right. So so let them be in that pinch my out they spirit, bro. I mean that's that's what I call it. You know, you in that pinch my out they spirit, man. When the day is coming, the Lord is gonna fucking put hell upon them, man. So how do you feel about that, man? So far, we we brought it out out of the work. It wasn't out of our own. It's not out of the work. I know the truth. I feel like I just ate a loaf of bread. Uh, he said, I'm not home hungry, man. Yeah, that's right. When we gave you the I feel milk. like I just ate a loaf of bread, man. That was my spiritual meal. Well, good, brother. Listen, man, we out here every Saturday, like, like around 4. We're, we're basically closing up right now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm, I'm glad you came through. I just came to eat. Meditate on that. You know what I'm saying? We're glad we, yeah, you were fed. That's what we out here for. We out here for that. We out there for, for, for uh, next Saturday, uh, 4 o'clock. here and ask questions, man. Yeah, look, you know up, uh, look up GMS on YouTube, man. Yeah, because that preacher, when I say uh, mentality, it really goes back to white supremacy. Because they all taught us to love the white man more than we love ourselves. See, one thing I know is that one thing that stopped them from being completely extinct was the fact that they kept the women from concubines and killed all the men off. Well, yeah, that's, that's what the... Uh, uh, they killed the all the men, done. all the Aztec men, and kept the women from concubines, which, I, which is just like genocide, man. Yeah. yeah, so really yeah. a lot of them are Edomites, yeah. those so-called Mexicans. Spaniards and all that. They're, they're from yeah. the lineage Spaniards. of those Spaniards. Yeah, the Spaniards. Yeah. yeah, brother, hey, you, hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, chew on that, man. Yeah. 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 Right. Shalom, brother, shalom. Right. Hey, you know, that's right, man. Yeah, go ahead and close it up, bro. Nah, hey, man, hey, Lord, we that was edifying, man. See, uh, have the brother come and and, and and get a get a get a good million. And hopefully, yeah. all those who are viewing got a good million as well, man. With that, we're gonna go ahead and close up and give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashir Yahushai, Bashir Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone and a sincere peaceful blessing yeah. salutations yeah. unto all of you hopeful, faithful members of the elect. Lord willing, you endure and be saved. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.